Hello everyone, welcome to Onyx Earth Tarot. Everything you need to know about me is in the description box below. So we're back with another pick a card reading. It's timeless and it's not love based. And I feel like I got some of y'all because <laughs> I, I don't know why, but I feel like, um, I mean, I know some of you say it, but there's a specific group of you that like, you like to choose from the snacks. And I'm realizing that some of you, it's not even that you like the love readings. It's that you like that I use snacks for the love readings. So I switched it up because I think this is the first time that I've used a snack for a non-love reading. So I got some of y'all um, in the best way. But I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to talk about today's reading. I'm excited about it. It is the beginning of a new series. But I have so many channel messages coming through like that I just want to get it out of the way for those of you that I do watch the intro. Whatever you were going to do with the olive oil, just do it. I don't know. Some of you, I don't know. Um, I know that some of you are being, like the attention is being called to your diet. That's probably why I switched. Um, yeah, I got the two to confirmation outside. I'm switching to the snacks. Not saying you can't have snacks. I'm not saying that you're greedy. <laughs> Maybe I'm not saying anything about that. But the reason why I, I mentioned is because, so I lit two candles, right? I have two candles lit right now. And one of them is olive oil. This is probably something I got at the, like one of the random moments I was just in, like, I don't know, like one of the random like TJ Maxx or something, right? So this is an olive oil candle. And when I lit it, it like went really high in the sky. So whatever olive oil means for you, symbolizes for you, roll with it okay now I do know when we talk about nutrition olive oil is like heavy in all of the healthy fats like when we talk about the omega-3 6 9 maybe you're lacking in that I do know that like a lot of seafood has that I'm just throwing it out there I don't know why that's a thing that's calling my attention for all of you and I also lit I don't know why I have two candles lit Something about the number two. But I have, um, look at how it glows. This is my jar of honey. This is my honey candle. So this is the sunflower honey bee candle, which I love, love, love. And, and I love having that lit. So I've got two lit over here. Maybe I'll push them a little more in the frame so that you can experience them with me just a little bit so that they're not in the way. Um, so something about your diet for sure, because we've got olive oil, we've got honey. So maybe you need to switch sugar for honey. I don't know, maybe switch your oils for olive oil. I don't know. It's going to mean a variety of things for a variety of you here. Okay, just honey, olive oil, sunflower seeds maybe. I don't know. But I also have... Um, what is this shot of kite that wanted to be on the table like it wanted to be i'm trying to like make sure it doesn't lose focus so this is a crystal that i have it wanted to live on the table for this reading and um i'll just hold up the card for those of you that are interested in it you can look it up so i know today i'm gonna really be like i don't know what the messages are gonna come out but something crazy is gonna come out something great's gonna come out just because this is a um crystal that is really about being in tune with your psychic abilities and I don't know why I need it today, but here we are, here we are. So what else did I need to ramble about before we start this? Um, okay, so now I can get back into the reading. So we are going to see what your dreams are telling you. If you may see like some angel numbers, if you see like synchronicities, whatever it is, we'll try to figure out what it is that you're dreaming, you're dreaming about or some of you, your lack of sleep, um, why? Like what would help you with that, right? We'll, we'll try to tap into that energy. It is the beginning of a series. I'm going to do it more often. So I think I like the Donut Dreams theme a lot. Um, I think it's going to resonate with a lot of you, especially since it literally came to me ha, 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 in a dream. And I know that's funny, but um, the backstory is like I kept seeing stuff reminding me of donuts. Like even when I'm drinking like I'm buying coffee. I'm like, why is the donut coffee calling me? Okay. I had a dream about donuts. I'm like, do I want a donut? I'm not that big on sweets. Like, can't find a donut that I want. And I'm like, okay, whatever. And then eventually I'm working on these thumbnails and I'm like, I should do something with these donuts. And then boom, we make the thumbnail and I'm like, ooh, a dream reading. And I've been wanting to do more non-love readings. So here you go. Here you go. And I just wrapped up that point at four minutes and 44 seconds. So you may be seeing 444, especially those of you that keep seeing those repeating numbers. Hopefully there will be something in one of these piles for you. So now that I've got all of the stuff 
making sure you're managing how much fat you have in your diet, all of the healthy nutrition, sweets and stuff. Um, we'll hop into the pile selection. So for those of you that are new, ooh, for those of you that are new, it's going to be a lot of new people. Okay. I meant to say for those of you that are visually impaired, or if you simply like to listen to me describe each pile, this is that time. So pile number one is a donut with pink icing and rainbow sprinkles all around. Pile number two is the chocolate donut. It is pile two and it has two stripes. So something about the number two, that may be a popular pile, I don't know. Um, but it is a very particular, it may be my particular pile. I've been getting that lately. So yeah, because it's got the two stripes and then it's got that really particular section of sprinkles. So it's a chocolate donut, isolated section of sprinkles with two stripes on it. And then pile number three is the white icing with chocolate stripes. Um, I think this is going to be my pile that actually really likes sweets because I'm actually hearing that some of you are picking it not because it reminds you of an actual zebra, but because it reminds you of like zebra cake, the little Debbie snacks. So <laughs> I love that for you. I love that for you. Hopefully you get what you need in that pile. And then pile number four, it's just the red icing with white sprinkles, but I'm being told to be explicit in describing it as a red velvet donut with cream cheese sprinkles. So you might be my fancy snack pile. Okay, pile four, you might be my fancy snack pile. All right, so I'm gonna give you a moment to make your selection. And if you need more time, go ahead and pause the video. All right, pile number one. So before we get in to your pile, um, something about mint. Maybe you need like mint oil or mint tea especially like if you're congested because i got a little bit of like right where my throat chakra should hit so um, some of you you're being told to speak your truth you're, you're being told to speak your truth you're, you're being told to be a little more clear with what you want what you need right what you want what you need especially what you need um because yeah i felt like and it's like a lump in my throat, but it's in a really odd position. So it's like literally where my throat chakra should be. That's how I know that that's what's wrong with you. That's how I know it's what's wrong with you. So speak it, speak it, say what you have to say. Take your time, write it out if you have to. Because I notice like when people struggle a little bit with communication and truly expressing themselves in a way that is not only authentic, but in a way, I guess, I don't know if it may offend other people or if it not, just write it out, read it. You know, figure it out. You have to say whatever you need to say because it's like right where my throat connects to my chest. So like, and if it's allergies, mint may help, okay? So let's see. Hmm, We're going to see what your dreams are telling you. If you're seeing angel numbers, any type of synchronicities, like anything you're seeing a lot of times, like it could, like sometimes I do the bird readings, whatever you're seeing a lot, we're going to see what that is or if you're having trouble sleeping. Yes. So for those of you that are new, I do read past, present, and incoming energy, and I read from a polarity. There's often a light and a shadow side. Um, you just have to find yourself in the lesson, in the journey. And I've been rambling a lot, even in the beginning, because I had so many channel messages I needed to just spit out. It's probably going to be that kind of a reading. Um, just bear with me. Um, I guess I don't need to be very grounded for this pile, but I have. That's the crystal that you see over there. Um, it wanted to be front and center. It's one that really makes me a very clear channel, apparently. It's going to make me even more of a channel than I am. Um, I've had it for some time, but today it wants to be you. So here we go. I'm going to... Where am I starting? <sighs> okay. Some of you um, need to ground your energy. Ooh, I've got um, soot. Watch um, candles, anything you burn, anything you're lighting, okay? Make sure you watch that because I've, I've got I've got the soot. And I don't even know how because the candle's there and I didn't even, like, it's not that, whatever. Let me pull. Let me pull. Something your attention's being called to. Some of you may very much so need to ground your energy because I do feel all over the place stepping into this energy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I, feel, I feel a little um, sporadic. But, I mean, this is my pink donut with the sprinkles so it, it, it's a fun dreamer pile it's actually the one donut that most looks like dreams so tell me pile number one 
Let's let's ground so we can channel clearly. And some of you are being told to do that as well. If you get really excited, right? If you're the type type to get really excited and you can't think, make sure you ground your energy, okay? Tell me more about my pal number one. What are their dreams trying to tell them? If you're struggling to get something going, just start. Doesn't matter where, just start, okay? Okay, yeah. Synergy. Look, looks just like your donut. That's cute. Um, the, frequent, the frequency of synergy supports our allowance and acceptance of not so obvious, never seen before combinations and unions that result in new ways of functioning, working, thinking, relating, loving, and being. It reminds us to embrace the unfamiliar so that new yet exciting co-creations can give birth to a new reality. Okay, you're that power that thinks you know everything. It's okay. A lot of people think that you don't know everything. <laughs> but it's also um, the pile of um, not listening to your dreams, literally not listening to their dreams, literally not listening to the spirit guides, just not listening at all. And that's okay. Why? Because you're at this reading. So step one is wanting to listen to the spirit guides, wanting to listen to your intuition, right? Wanting to know what's going on um, and accepting that you don't know everything and you never will. Okay. Cause that's what's happening, right? The acceptance of the not so obvious, the never seen before combinations, your dreams, you're, you're exceptionally creative. If you pay attention to your dreams and the thoughts you have when you first wake up or when you can't sleep, that's when your level of genius is activated, right? Like that's when you you reach like those genius concepts and ideas, okay? That's what I'm getting for this pile. Like there's a lot that's being unlocked that if you just slow down, because that's why the energy was so fast and all over the place, if you just slow down and allow yourself to rest, right? Allow yourself to get up a little slower in the morning sometimes, you'll, you'll have some awakening. You'll have some creative, some inspiration, okay? Some epiphanies. That's what, what was happening, okay? So um, it, it's like your dreams are trying to tell you things that you don't naturally think of, okay? That's what's going on, okay? Conception, okay? Yeah, it says um, the frequency of conception invites us to bring our consciousness to our origin, the place where everything in creation begins. It helps us to remember the infinite po potential. I was going to say possibilities first. So some of you get a little bit too ahead of yourself and you miss messages, right? So the infinite potential and possibilities of this space and what we can manifest through our own focused awareness and intention. Your dreams are telling you exactly what you need to know to be and do whatever it is you want to do. Like, that's it. If you listen to your dreams, if you listen to your intuition, if you try to like really think through why, if you struggle to go to sleep, they're telling you exactly what you need to know. And if you listen, you you won't be anxious anymore and you'll, you'll be able to relax a little bit, right? I'm hearing that creative genius, like that zone of genius, like that, cre like that creative genius. Like when you are about to sleep or when you're waking up, like that's when you get inspired the most, whether you realize it or not. And that could be regarding anything, okay? Like it doesn't have to be you as a creative type. It could truly just be a way of doing things, adjustments to the way you want to live, um, steps to take, steps to not take. Like it could literally just be your day-to-day -day life, okay? That's when you're getting guidance, okay? We're talking about conception and synergy. Like it's, it's your dreams are literally telling you how to make sure you're living a life of balance. That's what these two words mean com combined like that, okay? So let me let me pull from this other deck. Tell me more. And I notice um, some of you are, are grounded more now listening to the reading because I don't feel as antsy as I did. Once, once, this, once this unlocked, it's like, oh, okay, now I feel comfortable. I feel a little more stable. See, th that's, that's how it is when you kind of listen to your instincts and your intuition like that, okay? Um, let's see more about my power one. What are my power one dreams telling them? What are, my, what are the dreams telling my pile number one? Pink donut with the sprinkles. I think it's cute that you, your first card, because all of, you can see here with Conception, all of them are like, they're spirals. Like, I'll let you see. Um, oh, look at 
was here. I'm going to leave it because I was talking to you about that at the beginning. Um, I knew I was over here messing up for a reason. Um, that's funny. But um, I'll leave it. And then it fell right in the frame. But um, speak your truth. There's, there's things you need to get off your chest, things you need to say, things you need to communicate. That's what's happening here. I love how I split that. But the point I was making was I thought it was so cute how that looks like the donut you picked a little bit. And all of them are not like donut shapes. And that was the point I was making, but there's something inspiring, okay? If you listen to the intro, you know how I came up with this donut concept. Your dreams are really giving you messages, whether information you need to share. Because some of you, your dreams are telling you things you need to communicate with other people. Some of you, your dreams are really just trying to communicate with you, things you need to do. But I don't know. That was so cute how that came out. We're locked in right now. So let me see. And we're grounding the energy. So... I like it. Tell me more about number five could be relevant. Four and one is five. And even though 16 is seven, it's backwards, it would be five as well, which is that throat chakra. So I love it. Tell me more about my power number one. What are their dreams telling them? What are the synchronicities? What are they not quite grasping? Because this is my pile of not quite grasping. I don't know. It's going to be very particular. We do have um, at the bottom number 11, which is balance. It is justice ruled by a sign of Libra and um, seventh house of relationships. So partnerships that could be romantic love. I did see a lot of that at the beginning um, at the bottom of the resets, but something about balance, like your, your dreams are teaching you how to find balance and harmony in your relationships. Okay. I needed to look at that bottom because I, I, I was told to um, shuffle this way and look both. Okay. So five is here again. Um, five is here again. Wisdom. That is the Hierophant. They're te they're giving you wisdom. These are two in this deck. This is a card of like um, the spiritual teacher, right? And here we have an angel representing justice. So, I mean, you're getting divine guidance in your dreams. So even if they feel scary, I don't know what kind of dreams you're having, you're, you're ignoring divine guidance, okay? There's some very specific guidance. You have both signs ruled by the sign of Venus. Both signs ruled by the planet of Venus here, okay? That is the planet of beauty, love, finances, um... Just all of the things we desire in this world, right? Your connections, relationships with other people. What is that? Something fell. You're dropping something and you don't even know what it is because I don't know what fell. I have no idea what that was. Okay. Um, let's see if I can get a card now. Yeah, there's a lot. And I, honestly, the main thing, because I'm dragging this out. I'm already at like 11 minutes. So number, you may be seeing 11. Yeah, you're definitely seeing 11. Yes, especially with two. Um, They're making you slow. They're telling you to slow down. I'm not going to lie. Like this pile feels like a pile of being told to slow down a little bit. Um, <laughs> this is hilarious to me. I, you literally, like, you can't make it up. I can't make this up. So um, you do have the three of uh, cups, which talks about, like, collaboration um, with friends. Like, true friendship, true relationships, connecting with people for the sake of joy and pleasure. Your dreams are probably telling you that. But five. Throat chakra. Throat chakra. Look at you. We're going to read the card more blue. More blue. Um, so this card says... Um, it supports your self-expression and your sense of peace and balance. We kept seeing justice of peace and balance. They're telling you how you're going to balance, okay? You have throat chakra two times. I love that that came out in the first pile. This is why I use these decks together, actually. So I'm going to put you here. Let me get my other two. I'm not going to. This may be a long pile, but this is a pile of needing to sit down somewhere. It is a little bit, okay? Not because you may not necessarily even be overactive physically. You may just be overactive in your mind. You may be thinking so much that you don't even know what to say, right? Like something about you, your mind is a little bit overactive. You have a lot of concepts, but you can't quite 
harmonize them with synergy, right? If you can't quite get them harmonized, and that's the thing, that's where you're struggling, that's where you're lacking, because Five of Wands here is um, a card of constant changes. It's not a bad card, like in its worst sense, it's chaos, because it's energy that hasn't grounded, like I described at the beginning, another five, it hasn't grounded, right? It hasn't taken root, um, but the good thing about it is it's, it's a lot of changes, it's a lot of activity, it's pure energy, and once you channel that pure energy somewhere, you'll get something grounded. You'll get something amazing, something potentially ingenious, right? So let me get your other cards. Tell me more about my pile number one, my pink donut with the sprinkles. Definitely speak more. Throat chakra, fifth chakra, blue. You may be the pile that picks blue because you have blue all over the place. Ironically, in the, <laughs> I'm realizing you picked the, the donut with the most blue sprinkles. Some of you have that attention to detail. You're like, well, there's no blue. So I guess I'll go with the pink one and, with, that has mo more blue on it. So you have a, a certain level of perception that a lot of people don't have. A certain level of creativity a lot of people don't have, okay? So tell me more about my pile number one. What are their dreams trying to tell them, please? The angel numbers, the synchronicities, and all of the things. Okay, we'll take it. Um, that card wants to be out, but that's okay. Um, we do have um, a balancing energy here. So two of pentacles is at the bottom. Talks about movement, choices, and decisions. So your dreams are helping you make decisions. Your dreams are trying to help you organize the chaos that is your mind. And I say chaos in the most... Um, complimentary way and I mean that like that was truly not a backhanded compliment in any sense it's you have a lot going on right most brilliant people do right exceptionally brilliant you have a lot of dreams a lot of ideas a lot of concepts a lot of things that you could say but trouble putting them into words or putting in them into action right all of these fives they talk about change the things you have that you could share will literally change situations whether yours other people's for the best. Like you have so much to say that you don't even realize. Um, especially when you speak from the heart, things you deeply care about, things you're deeply passionate about. Okay. We've got number seven, stand your ground. I told you, I told you, stand your ground is some okay. So here's the thing. In a worse sense, this energy is that of having to go alone, right? Having to battle alone, um, going against the grain fighting about battle against a collective space and coming out on top right but like having to go alone it's not a shadow this is not a shadow pile this is your fear of having to go against people or saying things that contradict other people not wanting to offend other people this is saying to your dreams are telling you one to get whatever you need to get off your chest off your chest stand your ground be brave and also um it's saying that the knowledge you have, the things you need to say, the things you feel you want to say, especially when we talk about things that are chaotic or disorganized, you know what you're talking about. Possibly you may be the only one to see the, the inconsistency. You may be the only one that sees that chaos. We all have varying perspectives, right? So you can see things other people can't. Something about you specifically what you specifically are seeing, what you specifically have to say is going to restore some sort of order in some sort of inconsistency. I say that you have the solar plexus chakra, okay? Solar plexus talks about our confidence, our power, okay? Your dreams are telling you to be very comfortable, very powerful and standing your ground, whether we're talking about physically, whether we're talking about just in, in, in action, like when we talk about concepts, stand your ground. You know what you're talking about. I do not see an energy of chaos. I see a fear of disrupting some sort of order. And I'm telling you, your dreams are telling you whatever you want to say or speaking up more, whatever that is, you're not, you wouldn't be disrupting any order. You would be creating more balance, more harmony, right? Two of Pentacles talks about juggling things. Sometimes, um, especially when you're in a situation where you're like, because it, it could be you, right? Because some of you may, and it could be both. Some of you may have people you need to listen to in that sense. 
as well as speaking up about the things. It feels like juggling, lots of movement, lots of motion, right? And especially when someone's moving around a little bit too quickly, they may not be able to see, especially when we talk about situations that someone's knee deep in, right? Like when we talk about like, um, like we talk about work, right? And you're on a team and like you have a coworker that's really doing something inefficient. Well, guess what? If you you can see the inefficiency, right? And it's like, obviously you're not minding other people's business, right? Like if you're mind, like, like I say that, um, and I, and I hate that I say that because I know some people in this pile are going to overreact to me saying minding other people's business, but if it affects the group, right? If it affects the productivity of the company, like we're, if we're talking about work, what you have to say will restore order. It will create more efficiency, more balance. Okay. Regardless, your, your job, um, ooh, your job, your job is to, I guess that's what I need to say is to stand your ground and step into your power. Okay. Hmm. I like that. So where am I going to go next? I have a gazillion decks. We're going to use them all. These can be as long as they need to, because that's just the vibe we're going with today. I hope they're not super long, but here we are. Okay. What is my power number one dream trying to tell you? Open your mouth. <laughs> Literally open your mouth. What's this? Um, we've got cancer. Yeah, you want it blue. Look at you. Um, this is cancer. So cancer um, is the nurturer. Some of you are really sweet, really nice, very kind. I love that for you. Mm, but open your mouth, okay? You have to open your mouth, stand your ground, and step into your power. You have to be a little less nurturing. Mm, this is my pile of not wanting to step on toes or offend people. Ooh, you got to stop. Yeah, you, 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 you can be nurturing, but still firm, right? And step into your power, stand your ground, like don't back ground when you know what you're talking about, right? Like you can't, you can't back down because you don't want to, because you don't want to disrupt or you can't, like, I, I don't want to like tell you something that's going to get you into trouble, but your dreams are telling you, you have to speak your truth, right? You can, you can say things without it being hyper aggressive, but you're being encouraged to stand your ground and to step into your power. Okay. And cancer talks about, um, it's like fourth house energy of home, of family, of like, um, like I said, peace, of comfort. Like it, it's a sign of being comfortable, right? Like you, you, you want to be comfortable. Um, what I'm seeing is that what you, what you are avoiding doing, saying would actually create more com comfort, right? It, it would actually create more comfort. Okay. Um, yeah, it definitely would. And then um, with all of this blue, look at all this beautiful blue, um, lunar energy. Okay, we talk about the, your emotions. Your emotions are trying to get your attention. Okay, um, I had a channel message at the beginning that I wasn't going to repeat in every single pile. But um, I was called to olive oil, that random olive oil candle over there and, and the honey. Some of you may need, um, like I don't know if honey has it, but I know like olive oil has like a lot of like omega fats the healthy fats that are good for your diet some of you may need that um i say that because cancer is ruled by the crab and i know like they say seafood has a lot of the healthy fats i don't know why that's relevant today but i got my super psychic rock <laughs> and i'm also um you know I, I pride myself in being very skilled at this so maybe you need that message we've got the number eight the blood moon the rebirth some of you are going to do the thing where you pick multiple piles. I love it for you because um, you're probably going to go to that red one, I'm realizing. Um, but we've got rebirth. Yeah, you're in a bit of a rebirth. So part of a rebirth, whether that's you personally or e even in your collective spaces, because usually when we have a rebirth, that affects us in our collective spaces as well, right? You start changing, therefore you start changing situations and or the people around you and all of the things, um, especially where it's dysfunction, right? Especially where it's this, it's chaos or things that are out of alignment for what our highest good. You're being encouraged, though, to make sure that you're nurturing yourself throughout this rebirth that you may be experiencing, okay? I'm going to move this here. Because conception is actually a beginning, okay? Conception is a beginning. So just be gentle with yourself because this is also making sure you nurture yourself, you're gentle with yourself, and balance. Sometimes mm, we try to change a little bit too quickly, right? We try to make adjustments really quickly. We try to move a lot faster. That's why the energy was so chaotic and it was telling you to slow down. 
rebirth is good, change is good, right? If you're being pushed a little too fast, you have to express that because we, we want to make sure we're being healthy, want to make sure we're being stable, want to make sure uh, we're getting what we need, right? Some some of you slow down on the changes you're making, okay? It's because um, some of the, like, it doesn't always have to be, like, it's not an overnight process. So just do do what needs to be done okay i'm gonna i'm not gonna dwell on that but just just pay attention to um your needs okay let me see because i'm getting that i'm getting oh, okay i just dropped the card some of you are making like dietary shifts i'm realizing that's what that's what came in that's what came in um look at the bigger picture hit the floor okay long term sagittarius is about expansion okay um it's about expansion i'm gonna put it back in reshuffle but long term think long term not short term so like when we talk about for example since i have honey and olive oil um and all the things on the table what what is sustainable right like what what is something like when we talk about in five years from now ten years from now what would be best for you and your goals and your health and in some instances because i see that here Especially when we talk about the stomach. Okay. If you have allergies or just um, like congestion or whatever, just make sure you're aware of it. And, and like you're, again, I think I mentioned the mint. Um, cause remember throat chakra rules, all of the, everything associated with the throat. That's like your lungs. That's all of those organs. Okay. All right. And you've got throat twice. I don't want to cover that up because that's important. Your attention is being called specifically through to your throat chakra. Okay. And anything that rules that. Okay. Anything that is ruled, all of the organs ruled by that specific chakra. Okay. All right. What are your dreams telling? My pile number one. It's time to release negativity for Moon and Scorpio. There's a lot of fear on my table. There's no need for that. That's that's part of what struggles. Throat chakra blockages are, are usually associated with fear. Whether it's fear of not being accepted, fear of offending people, fear of not being liked. Um, it, it's time to let that go. Um, we actually have a full moon in Scorpio. If you're watching this real time coming up in, in Taurus season, you should see um, some developments near that if you're watching it real time. If not, it could just be relevant placements, relevant seasons. I'm, ooh, I'm clearing energy. Something's going to clear by then, okay? Don't worry about it. Something's going to clear by then. Yeah, it just raised out like it hit me, okay? But it is time to release negativity, okay? And and part of releasing negativity is being your truth. Because here's the thing, when when we are free to be our authentic selves, right? Because anytime you're free to express yourself, honestly and truly, you're free to be your authentic self. Anytime you're like that, it brings ne negativity around you because you're shrinking yourself, right? So then you start inviting situations and people into your life that really shouldn't be there because the only reason they're there is because you're hiding who you actually are, right? You're not saying the things that need to be said. So anyone that's not going to want to be around you for being honest in the best way, right? Especially when we talk about your needs and all the things, it's not going to work, right? It's not for your highest good. It's not even for their highest good because they're around somebody that they don't actually know. You see what I'm saying? I know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries, Okay. It is now Aries season. So one of the things that you're going to need to do is learn how to speak your truth. Um, I heard in combative situations, I heard in combative situations, um, but that doesn't mean you have to be combative as well. Okay. That doesn't mean you have to be combative as well. Um, you are being told to st stand in your power, stand in your ground in situations where, you know, you have to clear up negativity where you have to re, re you know have to rebirth but you you have to say what has to be said that's not a question you have like it's not like it's on the table it has to be said okay um and i don't know where that's supplying for you but it has to be said i'm again mind the way you say it but it but it has it has to happen and some of you honestly whatever conflict you're afraid of may be unavoidable but i mean it is what it is 
sometimes it's not like I'm not loving light. It's not sunshine and rainbows. I know you're going to keep having issues with sleeping or having chaotic dreams or whatever it is that's going on. Um, especially when we talk about like your health, that lump in your throat, you're going to keep having that until you express what's going on, right? Especially if you're having stomach issues too, all of that is on my table. Your body, right? As above, so below. Any spiritual, mental, emotional issues, ground. They ground, okay? Just like when you heal at the higher planes, how it's, it supports you physically. Same thing in reverse, okay? That's what I'm getting for this pile. Yeah, okay. So um, I love this for you. This is also my pile of needing to um, lighten up a little bit, right? We've got Venus. We talked about Venus earlier. Um, we have um, give and receive love find value, see beauty. Um, the things you need to say, the things you need to share will lead to great success, lots of prosperity. It will literally be better for, it, it will be the best possible outcome. Even if it doesn't feel good, if, especially if, if it is an initial conflict or combative thing, whatever needs to be said or how it has to happen. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I'm seeing success, right? Venus talks about, um, partnerships healthy ones it talks about uh and when i talk about partnerships i mean love platonic business all of the partnerships it talks about financial stabi stability it talks about um just having nice things like venus is the like that everything associated with this planet venus okay and then we have all of those things expanding for you because we have house nine spiritual growth and and it talks about uh jupiter which is luck right? Sagittarius energy of knowledge, wisdom, growth, development, getting better, right? Right now I'm seeing you not opening your mouth or whatever it is you're supposed to be saying or communicating or doing or sharing is actually stunting your growth and potentially whatever growth around you, right? Like you're stunting your growth and possibly the growth of others by holding back, right? Stepping into your power, standing, you're, you're holding back. Mm, that's never good because um slows down where you're supposed to go, okay? And possibly others, right? Because yeah, that that's what that's what's going on, okay? But whatever it is, like I said, Venus House Nine, it's gonna be good. It's gonna expand once you clear this up, okay? You got House Five, passion, play, children, confidence, creativity. I actually feel like. In some instances, this may actually create a more, more home, harmonious environment, okay? Because releasing negativity into the joy and pleasure house, right? House five talks about sharing your personality because it is ruled by the sign of Leo, the sun, which is solar energy, right? We've got it twice, that solar energy stepping into your power, being seen, being heard, sharing your personality, standing your ground. That's what, that's what you're supposed to be doing. Okay. So I have more decks. Let me, um, I'm going to pull from, um, what is, what's, what deck is this? This is the star seed. And then I have the work your light Oracle and I have two more decks. I'm going to close out with. So let me, let me, that was straight to the point. I, I, I did a lot of repeating because this is a pile of needing to be told things multiple times. That's true. But chakra is here twice. Um, some of you, if you feel like you're not necessarily heard, it's because you don't listen, right? Everything is its polarity. That's a message. So, um, give me some more messages for this pink donut with the sprinkles. What, what else are the dreams, synchronicities, repeating numbers trying to tell? Especially if you're seeing tons of fives, that's not, yeah, it's all over the table, Okay. Tell me about my pile number one. What's my pile number one dream trying to tell them? I don't mean to keep knocking that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you need, they keep trying to get your attention for sure. So what's the, what are we trying to call attention to here? What does pile one's attention need to be on? That's what I'm going to ask now. Cause the dreams, are, yeah. What, what should pile one's attention be on? I don't use this deck much, but I don't think it's really interesting. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I've got two. I've got two. So I'm going to take that one. This is a maturing energy. 
regarding this fiery climax. Mars, um, Aries, ruled by Mars, god of war, which doesn't mean in a bad way. It's act, it's activity. It's stand your ground, step into your power, be very active, go. Honestly, it could be re regarding your joy and pleasure, but just being active. There's something you need to be active on. Okay. Em empathic starseed. Energetic sovereignty. Absorbing what's not yours. Oh, you that pile. Mm. We're going to fix that. We, we're about to start. To, let me let me see. So when we talk about uh, your empath. Oh, you're, you're empathetic. I love that for you. You need to let that go. Um, everybody's like, well, I'm an empath. I'm an empath. That's not always a good thing. You're absorbing other people's issues and, and, and problems and um, baggage. Okay. That's where the balance is coming in. Um, some of you, what you need to speak is a boundary of that's not my problem. I can't, con I can't keep stabilizing your energy. Some of you need to, um, yeah, because that's what I'm getting. I'm getting a absorbing what's not yours. A lot of you, <clears throat> ooh, ooh, you hear the rasp? It's coming in. We're hitting. I like it in this reading because it means I'm, I'm having a conversation with you that needs to be had. Sometimes you got to cut the cord. Like you can't, you can't take on other people's problems and issues and all of the things like that. You want to nurture everybody because it drains you. It literally drains you. Okay, so so you got you have to stop taking on everyone's problems. Where what in, in the, be helpful in moderation, right? But standing in your power talks about your personal joy, your personal pleasure, your personal identity. I mentioned your wants, your needs. Standing your ground for yourself. Aries is the ascendant. I, me, versus other people. Right, looking out for yourself sometimes. That's what you that's what you need. Okay, that's what you need. And there is that group of you, and you it could be both in different areas of your life. There's that group of you that just kind of watches things happen that you probably should speak up more on because you're a little too quiet in that sense. But some of you are not speaking your personal needs, you're you're kind of Absorbing too much of other people's stuff, taking on other people's responsibilities, big picture thinking that came out earlier with that Sagittarius energy. Um, but we talk about visionary inspired ideas. Yeah, some of you is just not your problem. OK, um, so take it where it fits in your life. OK, some of you, you're too quiet in certain aspects. You need to speak up. You need to share knowledge that will be greater in the grand scheme. That they will be benefit other people. It's going to benefit the people around you or someone around you that you should share this knowledge or information with. Others of you, you're thinking too big. Stop worrying about everybody else. Lock in on you, okay? And it could be you. Like some of you are like that with your family, but you like some of you are like um super locked in with the family, um but too quiet at work or like reverse right like too locked in at the relationship and like you know what I mean like it, it could be both in different ways but that's that's really a message that's coming through very prominently is absorbing what's not your problem in excess right and not putting your attention and I say this all the time I do I do but your dreams are telling you that okay your, your dreams are telling you that and if you would just put your energy where they're telling you to put it you would be very inspired. You would see great success where they're telling you to put the energy, right? Because that's why we've got that um, inspired ideas, big picture thinking, okay? Some of you are thinking too big. You need to lock all the way in. Some of you are hyper-focused. You need to pull out. I mean, it is what it is. That's what it says, okay? Um, deep cellular healing. Here we go back to the health and the wellness and your needs, whether we're talking about in spirit, emotional, physically, everything that I said about your needs, nurturer, make sure you're nurturing yourself, especially those that are, that are like on some sort of a cleanse or you're purging, whether in spirit, whether in emotion or whether physically deep cellular healing. Okay. We talk about a physical and emotional healing. You're healing, whether you're, you were conscious of it before I said it or not, you are healing. That's what your dreams are telling you. And some of your dreams are saying, slow down a little bit. Take it easy where you're tired. Um, and some of you, 
your dreams are telling you you can you need to go and be active in certain areas i, I know that's gonna throw some of you off but it, it just is what it is i don't know where i'm gonna put this let me see hmm <sighs> Let me pull from this other deck. We're going to ground some of this energy. Because um, this is my ungrounded pile. Whether you realize you're that way or not. Because I, again, I felt it as soon as I stepped in. And, and it partially, part of the reason why a lot of you are ungrounded is because you're, you're absorbing other people's energy. So some of you are absorbing other people's in, energy intentionally, right? Taking on other people's problems and all of the things, overextending. And, and you're being told to pull back a little bit in terms of other people and focus on all of, all of, if not most of your, most of, if not all of your energy on yourself and what you need and what you need to get ahead and all the things. Others of you are unconsciously absorbing other people's baggage. And you need to like get it off your chest or set boundaries, especially if people like dump their business on you. Okay. You need more. Um, but I asked what you needed to prioritize. And ironically enough, the card fell on what I'm pointing at. Deep cellular healing. Oh, okay, yeah. Especially when you talk about things that you may have done wrong. Or things that may have been done wrong to you. Right? Some of you are, are being told to... Oh, that's what all of the, the a phrase. Some of you are being told to right past wrongs. Okay? That's why that's here. That I'm sorry. Some of you have guilt. Gotcha. It's guilt. I mean, have a conversation where you feel guilty. If you if you if you, you don't want like guilt just sitting on your conscience, that's not good. Like that's bad for your health. Like that's exceptionally bad for your health to live a guilty life. Like some of you just need to like get it off your chest, okay? And then we have um, creating heaven on earth. It's happening. Yeah, I mean, you're healing. I mean, it is what it is. And in healing, it's acknowledging and recognizing where you've been wrong, right? Becoming better after, right? Your dreams are, like your dreams are telling you you have a lot coming in. Like you're expanding in terms of everything associated with Venus. You're creating heaven on earth now. A fiery climax is approaching. And in the midst of that, you're experiencing a rebirth. Right? You're changing, you're developing, you're healing, you're growing, you're becoming better. Okay? And to prioritize the good, not just the bad. Okay, that's a maturing energy. And I'll see what's at the bottom. Don't dim. That's all this energy. And it's where it's gonna land. It's landing over here on the stand your ground, solar plexus. I, me, identity, joy, yeah, stop, don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? I talked about that earlier where I talked about like having to be a version, of, like being a version of yourself where you're not true, like where you're not who you are. Um, I'm seeing you're being told to stop that, <laughs> like explicitly told to stop that and communicate where you need to only because what's happening is as you change, as you evolve, Right. As you are reborn. Right. Growth, expansion, which is on the table. I mean, your environment. Right. Has to match like it has to match. OK, let me see. I'm trying to slow down this energy because it's a lot. I'm not going to lie. you got a lot to say that you haven't said and it's loud. Star mother. How can you mother yourself? Oh, yeah. Don't don't. Um, your needs are very important. Same energy. Cancer, nurture, star. Your needs are important, especially when we talk about like maternal figures, whatever that means in your life, anyone in your life that could be a maternal figure um, or just your personal emotions, like your needs, your desires. You have to express that. You, ha you have to express that. OK. Um, and do not dim your light. Right. Like you have, like, I feel like there's a, there's a certain balance on the table that could literally be found where we're communicating effectively, where we're honoring our needs. Okay. Where we, where we stand our ground and step into our power. I'm getting that for this pile. 
All right. Make sure you're getting what you need in terms of like nutrition, emotional, spiritual, your needs. That's a priority. That's why your dreams are being called. Okay, so this deck wants to talk. It wasn't supposed to be in the reading. Mm, look what's at the bottom of the reset. Vibe. Eat what you're supposed to eat. Drink enough water. Make sure you're getting what you need in terms of your nutrition. And I keep saying that because that's a big deal for this pile. Give me, um, what does this pile need to know? Why, what, what are the dreams and the synchronicities telling the pile? You may not even be thinking clearly. You may be creating issues because you may be malnourished in some way. Whether we're talking about a lack of sleep, whether we're talking about a lack of water, whether we're talking about um, the diet. Learning. Okay, so learning is not an overnight process. Learning is not an overnight process. Learning talks about growing, evolving over time. You're never going to know everything, okay? You're never going to be perfect. That's life. It's this patience. Hmm, see? Be patient with yourself, okay? What's at the bottom? Yeah, let loose. That's that house five. Have fun. Make sure you're having fun. Make sure you're prioritizing pleasure and, and fun, okay? You need that. So let's pull from this healing oracle because this pile, if any other pile needs it, it's this one. Let's pull from this healing, yeah, shamanic healing oracle. I'm going to pull from this deck and then we'll close it out with that other deck and some advice. Tell me more. Okay. All right. That's a lot. Got it. Okay. All of this is associated with the rebirth. What's at the bottom? Look at you. That's your personality. That's, um, it's fine. We're reaching the end. I'm going to let your energy take over. It's fine. That's that solar plexus. That's that sun. Step into your power. Step into your personality, your joy, your pleasure, who you are truly. Say what you need to say. Honor your truth. Okay. This may actually, it's, that's cute with the sprinkles. Um, this is my masculine energy power. Whether we're talking about like people that are actually masculine in expression or people needing to step more into their masculine expression, okay? You're needing to um, find that balance and, and be a little more active, okay? And, you know, because you have the discernment to do so. So this is discernment. This talks about knowing when and how, right? Trust yourself when you feel called to say something, when you feel called to do something, you have to trust yourself to be capable because that's that's where we are with this. Omens talk about synchronicities. You have to trust the synchronicities that are coming. You have to trust your ability to interpret them, right? You're interpreting them correctly for the most part. That's what this combination says. So what's all of this with this rebirth, this blood moon? Past, present, future, struggle, sacred space. If you need, okay, all right, um, prioritize your peace. What do you need as an individual? Because some of you have issues with, with prioritizing your individual needs, okay? When we talk about absorbing other people's energy. Because past, present, future shows your whole life you've struggled with finding your personal peace, finding your personal space, whether we're talking about finding your place in collective spaces, you know, knowing your role in collective spaces, um, whether we talk about just literally finding a safe space for you to exist as you are authentically, be proactive in, in, in finding that. And the best way to find that is to Truly just be who you are authentically. Say what you need to say. Be who you need to be regardless of who likes it or who doesn't. Because that, that's the only way you'll find the peace, right? Like you can't, again, it's it's kind of a phony nature. If you don't say what you feel you need to say, if you don't behave in the way you feel to behave, if you're not yourself authentically, then you're not going to be around people that are supposed to be around you, situations that are supposed to be around you because you are not who you are. You're not going to find your sacred space. All right. Let me close it out because this is a pile that needs to be grounded. So just be yourself. Be who you are. And everything's going to work out. You do have karmic justice at the bottom. Okay? All right. Let me get one more to shuffle. Honoring your needs is the main thing. What do you need? What do you feel you need? Especially what do you need to say? Okay, especially those of you with that blockage in the throat chakra that you may physically feel. Luna, um, 
what was I doing? I think I wanted advice. This is fine. Um, Luna in reverse talks about um, blockages with your emotions and it landed on that throat. You're not speaking your emotions effectively and that's something you're going to have to do. Speaking your emotion, all of the speaking your emotions, you're not going to find harmony within yourself or your external circumstances until you speak your feelings. You have whatever I'm talking about, whatever connections, relationships, whoever you need to speak with, you need to do it. Stop hiding, mm, stop concealing your needs, stop concealing your needs, okay? Especially when we talk about situations where your intuition is telling you to cut ties. Especially when we talk about specific people, okay? Some of you are going to have to cut ties with specific people. Mm, I hate saying that in a, in a collective read. Um, but we have cancer, which is associated with maternal figures. We have um, a star mother. Some of you, it's going to be like, um, I don't want to say your maternal figure. Could be. I don't know. I, would, I don't want to say that. But someone associated with maternal energy right literally and that's you're gonna you that's on you with your intuition like i don't know who you have around you who you're dealing with but your intuition is telling you to cut ties we have luna in reverse like you know what i'm saying like i don't i don't know your story what's going on i'm even gonna take these over here like because you have a rebirth um we're refining energy here because that was at the bottom what's this <sighs> you, you need to be told refine is here okay um Oh, I, I hate that I had to say that. Oh, because we've got rebirth, right? Two times. Stop needing to be told things multiple times. And we have banish a curse. Okay. Um. Okay. All right. What's at the bottom? I'm about to close this out. You're going to have to just take everything that I said, all of the rambles and everything, and put them together yourself. You may need to watch it more than once, but... Yeah, this is this is my pile of like you're gonna have to prioritize your sacred. Is it you can't be afraid of struggle, right? You have to prioritize your sacred space. That's the combative energy. I mean, I don't know who we're talking about. I truly don't. But you've got rebirth twice, and you've got um healing two times. Okay. So you know, and and honestly, it you have I'm sorry here. I mean, I don't know. I don't know, but prioritize your healing, prioritize your development, your evolution, where you want to be, right? Think long term when we talk about your health and your wellness, because um, I do see health and wellness goals here. Prioritize your happiness and your enjoyment. Step into your power, stand your ground. You have to be very active in certain areas of your life and you have to stop overextending in other areas. You have throat chakra two times. I do have the rasp and I feel the thing in my throat. And some of you, it is a very emotional thing. I'm going to have to clear it before I move to the next pile because I feel like a, a lot of emotions now um, is going to be okay. But but you you have to get that throat looked at. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> you have to get the throat looked at, okay? So that is all I have for you today, pile number one. Hopefully it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay in the know on the content we post here on this channel thank you for watching all right pile number two i will explain in a second how i read for those of you that are new but i want to lead with all of this channeled energy that hit me okay like this is a pile it's very good it's very excited like, i don't know if you're excited about this reading or this type of reading i am too but the energy is very very excited okay and i'm even like so if you watch the intro, right, it's so much to talk about, so much to talk about with this group. Um, and when I got to describe my verbal description of you, I'm like, oh, this, for whatever reason, I felt the particular energy step in immediately because it's a chocolate donut. It's got those two distinct strips, which I mentioned, maybe something specific about the number two for you. And then um, I'm like, why is that random patch of sprinkles? It's like that designated area for the sprinkles. The sprinkles are only allowed to be here. So I'm like, yeah, that's a very particular group. I got it. But here's the best part. So I'm literally cleansing away power one. Um, it was like the end was a little sad. I'm not going to lie. Like I didn't, I, I don't like having to do those types of reads. Um, 
I mean, if you were called to it, go for it. It is what it is. But even like, <clears throat> ooh, even bringing up pile number one, I'm getting a throat chakra thing. So like if you came from that pile, take that seriously, what I said about the throat chakra. Um, <clears throat> I'm getting that looked at because I hate even bringing that over here. But as I was clearing it out, the energy got like a lot lighthearted and I started to slide everything over to the right side. I've never done that before. Like every now and then you'll see, you know, my initial stack over to the right, but literally everything like over here to this left, that's where I like, I don't know. I did that like starting like last year or something. And now I just keep everything over to my left side. But this pal said, nope, nope, moving everything over to the right. So I don't know if you're changing, if you're transitioning, all of the things. But um, I'm going to show you some of the resets because this is so out of character now for me to move over to this right side. I'm so like intrigued about what's going to come out. But um, yeah, I'm just going to. We'll get to that in a second. So we are looking at what your dreams are trying to tell you. If you're seeing repeating angel numbers, if you're just seeing weird synchronicities with like colors, with like, I don't know, animals, whatever the thing is, we're going to check it out, see what we can get for you, what messages you're not understanding or hearing or just not, it's not working, right? And then um, the way that I read, for those of you that are new, I read past, I read present, I read incoming energy, and I do read from a polarity you just have to find yourself in the lesson, in the journey, and my music just switched. What is happening? Um, you have to find yourself in the lesson, in the journey. Because um, here's the thing. Before this pop, I switched the music. I have like meditative sounds. I switched the music. But like they were like, nope, new meditative. Like it just switched. That's why I'm like rushing to grab the thing. And, but I'm gonna let it ride. If this is the this is the music you need, then this is the music you need. Huge shifts, changes. You're like a whole new person. Look at you. I love it. Literally, this pile is like a whole new person. Who are you? Do you recognize yourself? So what's going on? Um, yeah. So at the bottom, you do have miracle, which makes sense. It's actually aligns with the music. It's purple. Um, you got number thirty three, the miracle at the bottom. Okay, let me put this down. You've got um, third eye, which is indigo, like a shade of purple. So, something about purple could be relevant for you. Um, but third eye is the, the eye of seeing. So whatever it is, when we talk about this energy. Oh, look, six, two times. You're that pile. You're that group of people I keep doing that with. So like I see synchronicities and then I notice more. I'm like, oh, it's purple, miracle, more purple. And then the number six, you're that group. Okay. But miracles are a theme third eye chakra is a theme like you're seeing things clearly that that i know whatever you're confused about or worried about or feeling confused about you know exactly what you're talking about um let me see what these astrology decks say at the bottom because I, I just sat them down um we've got your hard work is paying off sorry i don't mean to knock that i just want to get a temperature check for what's going on right here we've got mutable energy so surrender fluidity welcoming change like your new meditative sounds welcoming change so surrendering fluidity welcoming change um, I, I felt like this was kind of like a great job pile. Um, my mutable placements in seasons. So we did just switch to Aries season. Last season was Pisces. So the mutable signs are Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces. I love it. I love this energy coming in. I'm so glad because I'm not going to lie. I was, I was like, please don't let every pile be like pile one. It wasn't a bad pile. It was a needed pile, but I don't know that I can, I can do all of that. And look, you got the honeymoon productivity. Oh, this is a great reading um, already. You've got, um, I'm, I've got my honey bee candle lit. Okay, so something about sweetness, something about miracles, knowing, seeing things very clear, doing well, everything sliding over to this right side. Look at you. All right, I know I'm five minutes in, but everything is so great with this pile. So let's talk about it with this chocolate donut. I don't know. I, I don't know that I expected this energy to come out in this pile because it's so it's such a particular needing to control things pile. Whatever you've surrendered or you've been working on, you've been doing well, you've been a little fluid with, um, whatever you've been doing, it's been productive, right? Again, you've got um, the honey moon. Okay. So very, very productive energy. I love seeing that honeybee come out for you. But that's interesting. So... Whatever changes you are making, have been making, you're doing the right thing, have done the right thing, will do the right thing because 
Again, changing with the wind is the energy that switched over for your meditative sound. So being fluid, okay? Tell me what my pod number two's dreams are trying to tell them. <sighs> I'm not taking this card. It's not happening. <laughs> it came out in pile one. Um, but it does talk about accepting the not so obvious, never seen before combinations. So... Your dreams are trying to help you with things that are unfamiliar with you. So any changes you're making when you're in uncharted territories, things that you're not used to doing, things you're unfamiliar doing, things that are new, things you're learning. Your dreams are trying to help you. The angel numbers are helping you find the way. They're helping you know that you're on the right path. All of the synchronicities, okay? That's what this pile needs to know. So let me see if I can get a card that was not in a previous pile for this group. Give me my card for my pile number two, please. What's my pile number two thing trying to tell them? A key thing has been to not rush. Um, ooh, when you rush, you keep getting the same outcome. Okay, that was a lesson with the card, me putting it back. Um, when you want, when you try to do certain things too quickly, you get the same outcome, right? The the least desirable one, right? You keep seeing the same thing that you're used to seeing, okay? That's why you got a card from the previous pile. It's like, if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, you're going to keep getting the same result, right? When you try to move too quickly versus learning, growing, and developing, that's the message. What are your dreams trying to tell you? Pile number two, please. Sometimes when you want something completely new, completely unfamiliar to you, in the best way, it takes time, okay? It takes time. Mm, look at that maturing energy of integration. It says um, the, the frequency of integration supports our embrace of every aspect of ourselves, allowing what we perceive as positive and what we perceive as negative to harmonize in a balanced symphony of life. So it's all about your perception, your perspective and, and kind of neutralizing it so that you don't overreact to things you perceive as negative, right? Because that, that's the thing, right? Because sometimes there, there's always hidden gems. There's always like, um, like, like I'm thinking blessing in disguise in some instances. And this could be historical, present, or even incoming for some of you. But it talks about integration, okay? So you're stepping into harmony, okay? You're integrating into who you are authentically. Love it. Some of you, your dreams are telling you how to mm, integrate with society. Your dream, your dreams are telling you how to heal or you are healing via your dreams or when you're sleeping and all the things. OK, um, especially if you've been sleeping more, um, it says the frequency of healing supports our intrinsic ability to restore our health and wholeness by consciously using the information that comes to us through our senses and harmonizing everything accordingly. So that's why I kept getting those messages like this is a collective energy steps. 29, 30 steps. Steps are very important. This is, um, everyone's selecting piles today. So I've got two candles lit. You're probably wondering why. Um, which is funny because I've got green and yellow honey color, green and yellow honey color. So you're definitely here and you're definitely the channel message. That is an olive oil candle and a honey candle. So I've mentioned at the beginning in the intro, if you listen about nutrition and making sure you're getting enough nutrients specifically the ones you would find either in honey or olive oil. So make sure you're minding your nutrition. Go back and listen if you feel like it. If not, doesn't hurt my feelings, but you're integrating, you're healing, you're becoming a whole version of yourself. You may be experiencing like past traumas resurfacing. You may be experiencing um, old like, like wounds. Like, like if, like if you like, I don't know, like like if you have like a random area you hurt when you were a kid, like you might see it find like a little tenderness there resurfacing. You're clearing that out to restore harmony within yourself. Like I, I, I don't know. I'm getting that for this pile. So let me, let me see. Tell me more about my pile two. What's my pile two's dream trying to tell them? Especially those of you where you have like an active health thing you're working towards. It's working. One, it's working. And um, be patient with yourself as a message. 
right? Allow yourself to heal, right? Um, don't perceive healing as a negative thing, right? Because what happens is you, you rush when you do that, okay? So let me see. Tell me more about my pile number two. Seven of Swords, Deception and Envy. All right. There, you're healing in ways you don't even realize, okay? Um, watch it. Seven of Swords is sneaky, thievery energy. Your dreams could very well be telling you um, to be mindful of, of that energy possibly being around you. So like if you're having dreams um, that also align with hunches about people around you, it's a thing, right? Like your intuition is, is there for a reason. Um, is the music switching again? Is that what's happening? It is. It is. And then I have an ad. What? If you golf, that's a thing. If you golf, it's a thing. Hold on. Let me just. We're going to let the music go. Yeah, this is a healing pile. I'm letting out. I don't even know where the ads come from. Because I'm like, I like to put it. Sometimes I put it on. A, I'd like to do it different from the way I usually do it when I'm listening to music. When I'm when I'm filming but that threw me that did throw me off and I think it threw some of you off and I think it was to catch your, our attention. So no more music, we're letting the music ride. Um but the switches of the music and now the birds chirping calling your attention. So whatever I just said when the music started to switch, it is what it is, but healing is a huge thing. Um whether we're talking about from deception, from thievery, that's closing out and that's either why you're sleeping more being called to sleep more why you may be a little more tired why you may feel low on energy you're healing and integrating that energy okay but i think i was saying watch it when we talk about specific energy specific people if you were called to power one go to it just if you were go to it but whatever your intuition is telling you about specific people um specific situations in an uncomfortable way like your dreams are calling your attention to that okay like don't ignore your instincts when it when it comes to that okay yeah it threw me off some of you are getting really nervous because you already know what i'm talking about and you don't like it and that's okay all right okay tell me more about my pile number two please what are their dreams trying to tell them it was such a chaotic energy, chaotic wave of energy that flew in, right? Like some of you may just be sleeping peacefully and then boom, you have like a night terror and it's like a chaotic boom energy. And you're like, what was that? That's what I'm getting. Let's see. New beginnings. We've got the fool. Okay, so new beginnings talks about... Um, shocks surprises because the fool is like throwing everything away and starting a new right just starting a whole new life um is ruled by aquarius and uranus which talks about shocks it talks about surprises talks about community like spaces right so um this could be themes regarding this sneaky energy okay it could be um but again i do read past present incoming so because, and I say that because some of you, this is historical energy and you're healing to integrate in healthier spaces, right? You're healing so that you're, you're not carrying that baggage with you as, as you move forward, right? Spiritual strength. Number nine um, of wands talks about a pause. If you have a pause, being called to pause, something about a pause, um, before powering through like you're going to be able to do what you want to do you're going to be able to act in the way you want to act but there's a pause that is happening has happened about to happen that you need to take just to get it together okay for for healing purposes to integrate to be a hundred percent okay okay yeah to ground to find stability to be stable right firm foundation number four that's what we've got, okay? <sighs> You're a lot stronger than you realize, okay? What's happening here is some of you actually, your dreams are telling you that you either are tricking yourself 
or allowing someone else to trick you into thinking that you're not as stable as you are. Okay, it could truly be internal, your mind, or it could truly be external of making you think you're not as stable as you are. That's what I'm getting. Because the fool could also be like feeling like you're crazy. Okay, could be that as well. So let me pull from these other decks. I mean, I mentioned, you know, I think that, remember what I told you at the beginning? Because the energy shifted a lot that quickly. But the beginning, what did I say? You know what you're talking about. You're very stable. Okay, productivity. You know exactly what you're talking about. So let me see. You're very stable, firm foundation. A lot more stable than you realize as you heal and integrate. Okay. Tell me more about my pile number two. My chocolate donut, please. What is What are the dreams telling my chocolate donut, please? Some of you, your dreams are trying to make sure you know that the path you're taking, the path you've taken right? Past, present, and coming is putting you to a level of stability you have no idea. Like you don't even see it coming. Why Why is this like that? There it is. Yeah, you can't, you see how foggy that was just now? You can't even see how stable spiritual strength, firm foundation, whatever you're doing is. You literally have no idea. It's, it's exceptionally stable. How many is this? It's two. We'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah. And that one is poking out. So it's the bottom. So, um, be still where you're called to be still, but it's also a maturing energy of um, you will move where you're where you need to move, right? Maturing energy of movement of you're moving how you need to move, or you will move more when it's a thing. Okay. Connect. You have a maturing energy of connecting with co integrating. You're connecting as you should you're integrating as you should you're moving as you should um incoming energy of nurturing um so this is cancer home family stability being comfortable you're you're getting comfortable okay you're getting comfortable and something about the more comfortable you are the better you'll move the more connected you'll be okay just make sure you're getting what you need in terms of the nur nurturing energy, okay? This is a peaceful pile. Like that chaos that hit went away and now it's like, I don't know, like some some weird shift. That may be how you sleep at night. Like, okay, you sleep in and then boom, something crazy happens in the dream and you wake up and then boom, you sleep and it's, it's peaceful again. I don't know what's going on, but that's kind of the energy that, that's coming through. But the more you nurture yourself, the more um, you... you Prioritize your comfort, your peace, your ease. The more connected you feel, the more you'll move, okay? You'll move when you're ready. You'll be active when you're ready, okay? There's something about making sure you're stable and you understand your stability. Incoming energy of, um, oh yeah, don't worry about it. Whatever your dreams are trying to tell you, um, I have a feeling you're already understanding what your dreams are telling you. You're just questioning it, deceiving yourself right? You already know, like your intuition is spot on. You know what's going on. The answers you need are coming, incoming energy. For Moon and Gemini, that's um, communication, okay? Yeah, okay? I don't mean to knock that. Wait a second. The answers you need are coming and prosperity lies ahead, Okay? Especially the yeah the, the birds <laughs> the birds are talking that's what that's probably what the pause is to let them speak listen the birds are talking to you <laughs> that's funny um, but prosperity lies ahead so this is the house that rules self worth stability stability and assets and your money like so you're fine your answers you need are coming prosperity lies ahead. Like you're going to get confirmation that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, that you know what you're talking about. Okay. The birds are co-signing you. That's probably why they had me turn off the, um, turn off the music. Tell me more about this chocolate donut, my pile number two. What are the dreams telling my power number two? What are the synchronicities, angel numbers, and or anything else like that mean 
my pile number two, my chocolate donut. But the answers you need are coming. You will see prosperity. It is coming. And ooh, it, is it? Look at that. I was just talking, looking at this. And then, but prioritize your healing, okay? Because you have it, right? You have healing two times. I'm not going to put that back on there. You have healing two times, okay? You're healing right now in the best way, okay? Whether we're talking physically, mentally, emotionally, you're healing, okay? You're integrating into a new version of yourself. But um, when healing came out, you need to be told things multiple times. When healing came out two times, we've got more Taurus energy. This is the second house, right? It says physical security, possessions, material values, and self-worth, okay? That's what you got, okay? And put that here. Yeah, that, that fits. You're fine. Um, your dreams are trying to tell you, like, you're stabilizing into prosperity. Where we talk about, like, financial um, goals. Because I'll say that. Because some of you may have issues. Some of you may just be trying to meet, reach another milestone. When we talk about finances, oh, you got healing and the money is coming. Okay? The answers you need are coming. Prosperity lies ahead. Firm foundation in your house too, which is your self-worth, which is your assets, which is your money. You're good. Okay? You're good. Okay? Yeah, look at that. House eight is the opposite of that. Um, it says transformation, karma, facing fears and legacies. Now we talk about that, but we mentioned, um, yeah, it does represent debts, but it also represents inheritances when we talk about finances, since it's on my table two times, okay? So you're fine. Change and shift as you need, as you've been doing, as you're being led to do, okay? And then you've got house five, which is passion, play, children, confidence, creativity. This is personality. This is joy. This is pleasure. Make sure you're prioritizing joy and pleasure and things you enjoy. And make sure you're feeling good. I mean, it, it's straightforward. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. So let me pull from um, these other decks. We'll pull from these other decks. This is a great pile, by the way. It's a pile that feels like you you may feel chaotic, but like you're you're fine. You're healing. Um, you're stable. You're exceptionally stable. Okay, like prosperity lies ahead. Really wants your attention to make sure that you believe that that is a thing because it is a thing. Okay, if you're not feeling very prosperous, prosperity lies ahead. The changes you're making, the things you're doing, don't let your mind trick you into think you're crazy thinking you don't know what you're doing, okay? <clears throat> Especially when I got the throat thing coming out. Like, that's what it is. Like, some of you are like, oh, I might not be doing what I'm supposed to. Yeah, you are doing what you're supposed to be doing um, and all the things, okay? Let me see. Tell me more about this pile number two, my chocolate donut. Some of you, um, I don't know where, I don't know when you're coming from um, one of those blue jay piles, okay? I don't know where, I don't know when, <laughs> but that, that you know, that's a thing, okay? And maybe it was the last one, you might be in the last one, because I'll just roll with that one since that's, I mean, it is what it is. I don't know at what, what point, whichever one calls you. Tell me more. Okay, I'll take both of these in the bottom. Deep cellular healing. Okay, all right. Everybody's healing. Everybody's healing. <laughs> um, you need to be told things multiple times. Nothing's wrong with you. Um, the sign of Virgo actually rules healing right here. You are good enough. We recently had a full moon in Virgo. If the, if you know, like, I mean, look up the data wasn't that long ago. Um, maybe that was when you started, or maybe that's when you really started to feel it, but you're good enough. This is this is the sign that rules acts of service, health and wellness, and routines. But you've got three times on my table. Oh, this may be a pile of um, you may be healing your divine masculine side. But I so much is on the table now. Okay, <laughs> um, but you have healing, healing, healing. You're healing. Okay, you're fine. Okay, so don't worry about it. All right, but deep cellular healing. All right, love it. Oh, I'll put this since it's tripling down. Um, so what's this? Star Keeper, Cosmic Ancestor, Seed the Light by Staying 
around it. Yeah, you need to be told things a lot of times. Because <laughs> uh, this is house two. This is grounded energy because it talks about stability, like being secure, um, more mutable energy. Um, so that full moon and Virgo happen during Pisces season. And those are both mutable signs, okay? Um, but this is stable, firm foundation, is grounded. You have the... Um, the sun, okay, you're stable, um, you're grounded. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. I'll put this here. It's at the bottom. Seeing potential, bringing unconsciousness to light. You know what you're talking about. Stop needing to be told things multiple times. Mm. The potential you see, the things you're seeing potential, and you know what you're talking about. This, oh, okay, this is the power. You, what are your dreams telling you? Stop um, needing reinforcements. <laughs> Trust your own intuition sometimes. Uh, you've got a soul family calling your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. Um, yeah, you know, you need reinforcements, I guess. We can be soul tribe. I'll help you. I'm the right reader for that because I'm going to always push you to trust your instincts and your intuition. Like, I'm not the reader that's like, oh, I'm the, I'm the know-all, be-all, come to me so that you, you know what's going on. I'm the one that tells you, like, do what they're telling you to do and stop needing to be told things multiple times because you got play again. You go first, the universe will catch you. <laughs> this is that pile of needing to be told things multiple times. Okay. I love it for you because the pile says, have fun, live your life. Things are going well. You're healing. You'll move whatever move you're trying to do, you'll be able to do it when you have enough energy or if you're finding yourself stepping into the energy, yes, you were healing, you're fine and go go forward, live your life. I don't know. You got money coming in, fun coming in. This is a great pile. So what is, I've got two. Number two is a thing because you did have two from that. Um, what did I do with the other? Oh, it's just under that. Um, both of these decks gave you two. So what's this maturing energy? <laughs> Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. You know what you're talking about, okay? And fill up your well. Prioritize your health. Prioritize your wellness. What do you feel you need, right? Mentally, spiritually, emotionally. You're healing. Prioritize that, right? But if you feel like you need rest, rest. When you feel like you need to rest, because it's not a one-time thing. Like when you feel tired, rest. When you feel like you have energy, move. Like, right? Your guidance is divinely guided. You're fine. All right. Let's see what's at the bottom. Priestess, how are you being called to step up and lead? Okay, where, well, where you have your energy, right? Where you have energy, go. Where you don't, rest. And some of you are like, don't talk to me like I'm crazy. I'm not. And, but sometimes as people, we struggle with knowing like, oh, I'm tired, but I can't rest. Or, oh, I need to be doing this thing. Or... You know what I mean? Like, listen to your body when it's talking to you. But this priestess energy means that you you need there's something that that you need to be doing for sure. Um, so think about what energizes you. What when you think of like if you feel low in energy for now, like right now, what do you actually have energy towards? Okay, and where you have energy, that's where you, it should be placed, right? Because if you have if you have minimal energy, but when you when you think of something or you try to do something or like your energy like sparks when when you prioritize something else, that's probably what you should be doing, at least in that moment, okay? All right, especially when we talk about rest, because some of you don't know how to do that. All right, tell me more about my pile number two, my chocolate donut. What are the dreams telling my chocolate donut? What are the synchronicities telling my chocolate donut? Okay. All right, priestess. Um, oh, yeah, because underneath that, you've got a trust, yeah, to confirmation, what is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? You have to trust your intuition. You have to trust your instincts on what you need to do. Um, but you do have this, the priestess here, which is psychic development. I don't think that I mentioned um, 
this is a dream reading and that crystal wanted to be here the blue one and that, that is a shot of kite okay it talks about it's a it's a crystal that supports you um in your psychic abilities i'm not saying that this is that pile for everyone specifically this is that pile of using your psychic development to support yourself right like being able to listen to yourself for yourself because everybody's not going to be me right <laughs> everybody's not going to do this that's not what what it's saying it's saying to trust your instincts your intuition where it's guiding you okay and then um death is transformation masculine energy wants to be here again stop needing to be told things multiple times Mm. stop that <laughs> stop that okay um yeah we've got retreat mm, stop that stop needing i'm about to close you out mm, stop needing to be told things multiple times you're fine all of the synchronicities says set, all of these synchronicities showed me that whatever your dreams are telling you you're interpreting it the right way you're just either scared not listening or just want a second opinion i'm the second opinion you're fine let me get one more and I'll take the bottom and then I'll close it out with that other deck. What else do we need to tell this pile? This is the pile of knowing what's going on already. Like, you're not going to know everything. You're not going to know everything. But what you do know, you know. Okay? <laughs> so give me give me more for my pile number two, my chocolate donut. Please, thank you. Duality. Balance. Okay? You see things clearly. You see all sides. That's what I'm being told to tell you. Yeah, when you feel called to hibernate and all the things, allow yourself the space to do so, okay? Sleep in sometimes. That's fine. Death is back. You're changing. You're transforming. It's not needing to be told things multiple times. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm not even mad at you at this point. I've just accepted that some of you are just in that energy. Stop needing to be told things multiple times. Okay, like it just, I mean, I don't know what else to say other than stop needing to be told things multiple times. <laughs> Your dreams. I love this for you. Okay. What are my final thoughts for my pile number two? So long story long, you're healing. You're balancing your masculine energies. You're integrating into who you're meant to be. You're changing, transforming into a new era. Um, you're resting. You need to prioritize your health and wellness as you do that. And you're being called to step into something where you find a lack of energy in one space. It's because you're supposed to be prioritizing it in another area. Um, right? Because if you have low energy, but you still have energy somewhere else, because that's what the cards are saying. Okay. And trust that, trust where you're being led. Trust where you're being navigated to. Okay. Tell me more. <clears throat> Talking too much about the pile two. Some of you don't want to hear it. You you need to be told things multiple times stop that <laughs> tell me more about this willpower wisdom you know what you're talking about apply your energy where you're being led okay confidence do so with confidence at the beginning of your pile we had the honey right like we had the honeymoon we had the bee i have the bee lit you're fine step into your confidence Know who you are. Know what you're doing. You know who you are. You know what you're doing. And be that completely, not partially, right? Trust yourself when you're talking to yourself and stop needing to be told things multiple times. Okay, so that is all I have for you today, pound number two. Hopefully it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay in the know on the content we post there on this channel. Thank you for watching. All right. Okay. I'm adjusting. Don't mind me. I'm just adjusting because I was not quite ready. I'm, I guess I got excited for pile three. Um, I don't know why I'm acting like that, but <laughs> when I sat down, I saw 44. So I feel like that may be one of the repeating numbers. Give me a second. I don't mean to mess you up, but just let me get you right. Let me get you right. Okay. There we are. There we are. So, cause I'm not starting over. So you may be seeing 44. And it's crazy that I'm seeing that as I'm sitting down because um, you have 44, like you're seeing 44 and 8 and or 8. That's what you're seeing. Um, look, 44, universal love, 
I already knew that was at the bottom of your reset because I got up to grab something. Um, but you've got number eight. That's the strength card, which is power. Okay. All right. And then even here, you've got um, number eight, Gemini. So that number is definitely guiding you. It's giving you guidance. Okay. It's giving you some sort of a guidance. It's guiding you some like so. Think about what you're doing and the environment you're in, or what you're talking about when you see those numbers. Okay, think about that. But number eight is a thing. It's a thing. Forty-four too. So for those of you that are new, I read past, present, and incoming energy, and I do read from a polarity, which means there's a light and a shadow. You just have to find yourself in the lesson in the journey. So let's see what your dreams are trying to tell you. Any angel numbers, any synchronicities, whether it's like colors, food, birds, anything that you just keep seeing. What is the hidden message for my pile? Number three, if you skip the intro when I describe your zebra themed um, donut, I mentioned that there are at least one of somebody here picked it, not because it reminds you of an actual zebra, but because one, the stripes, I heard that, but also... Um, like zebra cakes like the little debbie snacks so that's funny somebody's like oh that's 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 my snack that's my go-to so whoever likes the, the zebra cakes that that's you you this pile is for you specifically for sure okay all right let me see give me a message for my pile number three my White icing, chocolate stripes, zebra donut. Tell me about the zebra donut, please. I heard someone here actually picked it because like some of y'all get real deep and insightful when you're selecting your piles. I love it for you, but I heard like someone picked it because of like, like um, being like a multinational, right? Like multi-ethnic, like possibly even biracial person. Love it for you. Let me see. Tell me what's going on. Like I'm over here like staring at the thumbnail. I didn't think of that at all when I picked that. That's why it was <clears throat> that's why it caught me on guard. I'm talking too much. <clears throat> oh, somebody didn't want me to tell tell like somebody's in oh, don't be like that. I feel like somebody got embarrassed, like, oh, I didn't want anyone to realize I like I was thinking that deeply about my pile, but don't worry about it. Um, I didn't mean to smack it that hard. It's fine. Don't get in your feelings. You know, don't get all in your feelings. It's okay. <clears throat> it's fine. I am an actual seer, medium, psychic. So um, when you come here, I definitely see a lot of things, especially when it's loud. Okay. So tell me pile number three, my zebra donuts. Fertility, look at you. Okay, so it says um, you got the sacral chakra, okay? So your dreams are definitely telling you to create something or it could be telling you you created something. So some of you where you're seeking like to conceive a child, that's a thing. Like some of you, that's what your dreams are telling you or maybe you're a seer and you're seeing someone else conceiving, I don't know. But like, I, I see conception when we talk about children, I do see that, um, but but it doesn't have to be creation of like a life of a person, it could be creation of something. So something's being birthed, created in your life. Look at you. Yeah, because it, it talks about being more open, more courageous, more creative and more joyful than we were before. It talks about opening up and stepping out of your shell and it activates the potential for something beautiful to grow from our consciousness into a new and grander expression of ourselves. So your dreams are telling you to just like live your life, be free, be happy, be creative, all of the things, okay? You have so much available um, and so much to offer. We've got communication, number 14. Um, so we've got the frequency of communication supports our ability to exchange information in many different forms. It reminds us to run every piece of information, both incoming and outgoing, through our heart, the center of our truth, to stay in the flow of source and balance exchange. That's funny. Let me see. I'll see if... It <clears throat> I'm talking too much. Yeah, what I was about to say, I'm talking too much. I'm probably going to say it anyway just because I, I, I might be talking too much. 
with fertility and communication, it feels like um, some of you have something specific you want to say. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> wow. I don't know why I'm getting that. Like some of you picking this pile are really shy. That's so sweet. I love that for you. Stop. Um, <laughs> I stop because the, the, the fertility feels like, um, like childlike crush energy. I'm not going to lie. And I did want to say, um, like when I was describing, I was like, oh, tell me what the dreams are telling the zebra. I almost said cupcake and I do have cupcake readings. So maybe go to those readings. Maybe that's a thing. But the cupcake readings are basically like what your friends, like, like what your crush is telling your friends, that's the theme of those. So I don't know how that's relevant here, but it's, it, it feels relevant here. But so like we've got like fertility and communication, like your dreams are telling you to say something. Um, yeah, you got to speak your truth. You got to speak your truth. You got to stop. Lots of green and, and um, blue here, like the globe. Well, that's not even globe. That's just universal energy. I thought that was the earth. So like blue is throat chakra, speaking your truth. Green is your heart space. So saying how you feel, saying what's on your heart, that's what I'm getting. And like the judgment says to do it. So, ooh, that's on you. So let me see what else the dreams are telling you to do, Pile 3. I don't know what it is about these zebras. These zebra stripes. <clears throat> but y'all got to calm down with the not, with not wanting me to say certain things or being, I guess, embarrassed or whatever because I get the throat thing. And I'm... I'm not trying to get the throat thing in the reading. So tell me more about my pile number three. My zebra donut, please. What are the dreams telling my zebra donut? My throat cleared up once I left that alone. So, I mean, <laughs> I think it's funny. That's so sweet. Let me see. Tell me um, the zebra donut. Shadow. Um, so number 18 is the moon. This is moon, lunar energy, which, um, the moon all, all, already rules your emotions. And then, um, uh, which obviously it actually, this is Pisces energy though. Um, talks about the unseen. This is actually the card that rules dreams. So you may actually be dreaming of like children of like someone you like, like I get that. I get that. So this is like of dreams. Okay. And it's like or shadow sides or aspects of yourself that make you scared or worry. Um, some of you are literally just facing your shadow, facing your fears in your dreams. That's how you conquer them. Okay. This is a really sweet energy. I feel like um, you may, this, this is my pile of maybe a little bit younger or something about, like you have very youthful spirit, right? Like, um, like very innocent, whether you want that or not, it's the thing. Okay. I think it's sweet. Let me see. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't control the cards. So when we talk about... Um, I was not expecting this. You face your shadow, facing your fears. Because um, communicating, like I mentioned, I led with this because... Ace of Cups talks about like love. But it also talks about new adventures and new creations, right? With fertility, same vibe right? Same vibe. So it's like pursuing your dreams, pursuing your passions, right? Whether we're talking about people, whether we're talking about places, whether we're talking about things, ambitions, it's saying like to stop hiding from what you want, right? Whether we're talking about like, again, opportunities, creations, um, some of you, very specific message. Um, if you're at that stage of your relationship, having that conversation with your partner regarding children, like whether having them or just making sure you're on the same page regarding children, I see that, okay? Like that may be on your mind heavy or maybe you are you know you're not on the same page regarding children. Some of you are worried about your opportunity to have children, right? Going forward, you're concerned about your fertility, whether we're talking about due to like long-term age or true health right obviously do what you need to do in terms of like your health always get that looked at but i'm getting that that's what your dreams are telling you to prioritize okay those things some of you your dreams are telling you you're lacking in love passion and joy and creative energy you're some of you your dreams are telling you the extension of that, which is the sensual energy we're not going to tap into with that fertility there. Yeah. Your dream's telling you a lot. <laughs> I love it for you. That's so funny. I did not expect this from my zebra pile. So let me get one more in the bottom. 
yeah, you're disengaged, you're, you're discontent with, with, and you're bored. So, like, your dreams are telling you to spice up your life, okay? That's what's going on. Um, spice up your life, you're discontent, you're disengaged, you're bored. Okay. Communicate what it is you want. Yeah, five of pentacles, financial material changes. Um, this talks about, and it could be literal. Some of you may be concerned about like your fertility in terms of a material sense. And your dreams are telling you to address that. Ooh, <clears throat> talking too much. <laughs> but, the, but the five of pentacles talks about lack, feeling left out in the cold, feeling like something's missing. Okay, so it doesn't have to be just like financial, like this says. It could truly be like something's missing in your life, in your world, right? And facing that. And your dreams are trying to tell you where it is you'll find fulfillment. It looks like my table is saying your dreams are telling you you'll find fulfillment with some joy and pleasure, with some love. Okay? That's what it is. Whether we're talking about romantic, uh, whether we talk about children. Um, yeah, those are the two I see specifically. Okay? And addressing where you're where you're avoiding that or where it's missing. Okay. Um, but definitely the overall theme, joy and pleasure and experiencing. That's what's on the table. Okay, look at my zebra donut. Tell me more about what the dreams are telling the zebra donut. I think this pile is actually hilarious. <laughs> I think it's funny because like I, don't, I didn't expect the energy coming through. And I have a feeling that the people selecting the power was like, mm, how dare she say this to me? I, I mean, I don't control that reading, y'all. Listen, mm, you might be saying 22 a lot. They say, listen, they're talking to you. I mean, I don't know what you want from me, the reader. <laughs> and you've got uh, number 37, incoming energy of just be, of experiencing and just being engaged. I mean, it says to be. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Do what you want. Do what, what's going to make you, like, listen, be, do what you want. Like, you know what I mean? Like, just be, experience life. This is a straightforward pile. It's like, ooh, this is the pile of, like, oh, listen, I can't wait to, like, like it's like the spirit, it, like, the spirit guides, like, the energy here is like, oh, I'm so glad I got my hands on the zebra because, like, the zebra needs to listen. The zebra does not listen. That's what I've got. Um, you did have very close to achieving goal at the bottom. And working through your fears as an uh, as an energy, stepping in, okay. But there's a deep uh, fear of move here in terms of whatever. There's a lack because there's a lack and a discontentment here, and your attention's being called to where are you feeling lack, where are you feeling discontent, where are you disengaged, where are you bored, okay. And and how can you remedy that? That's what I've got, okay. This is not a heavy pile. It's just a do what they're telling you to do pile. Tell me more about the zebra donut. Oh, it's dragging. Oh, that's you dragging. Got it. <laughs> so look what you got. I think it's funny. So I don't know. I'm going to do the thing where I'm like, okay, so let's just start at the bottom. Whatever this is, it's going to complement to the divine. It's going to be something that you truly do not see or truly ignore or they do like that. They, they're screaming. You don't listen. This that I'm going to flip over. But I'm telling you, you got the ace of cups. Um, I, I felt it as soon as the first, right? That communication into that fertility, that more joy and all of the things. But you've got a new romantic cycle begins with this new moon in Libra. So I don't know what's going on. I'm not, ooh, I just knocked the crystal over. Which one is that? I don't know what it is. We'll, we'll see later. We'll see later. It's fine. It, <laughs> I did pause to go see because I realized it was not a crystal. It was an essential oil that I had on the table and um i just wanted to make sure it didn't spill and it was lavender which also talks about that open in your mouth energy so i mean i can't help you if you're not going to speak this is like the uh, uh, the second pile today maybe even third where like it's like you have to communicate what it is that's on your mind but we do have a new romantic cycle begin so um some of you 
I mean, the shadow side of this pile would be, oh, you're you need to communicate that something's not working romantically, right? Like that there's a romantic situation that's not working, that it's time, maybe time to move on from. Um, some of you, it's time to communicate the, like, the desire for next steps in a connection and, and you're having dreams about it because you're worried that it's going to not work out in your favor. Like you're worried about the conversation and how it's going to go. But I mean, you have—I mean, you have to be on the same page with their partner. But this is a this is my love pile. So anything you need to communicate to your partner, you need to make sure you're doing it. If there's a person like you need to communicate to romantically on any level, that's a thing that's bothering you. But this is about communicating your feelings to somebody on a romantic level. That's what I've got. Whether it's talking about children or something like that, but you're being told to listen and to be explicitly and you have this full moon which says um surrender to the divine now um a new romantic cycle could very well be like a new era in a connection you need to communicate but it, it says a new romantic cycle so some of you even when we, especially when we talk about those of you that are discontent and lacking where we're talking about old people that are single and discontent with being single like if you're single and fine that's different but like if you're feeling something's missing i mean that your attention's being called to that it is what it is. I don't control the cards, okay? So we've got full moon. And then um, <clears throat> the throat thing, a fiery climax approaches. I mean, I heard do or die. Something's, I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't. Um, I don't know what is going to happen or what did happen. Um, because this is, this is um, timeless, right? But whether we're talking last year, this year coming up, Cause you got a moon, you got a moon, a very specific time period, okay, a very specific time period. Now, currently we are in Aries season, right, and we have a full moon in Libra coming up. But this is talking about the new moon in Libra, obviously Libra season. So like, end of September through mid October. What would the full moon in Aries? So something happened is going to happen around that time that what we're talking about so i don't know who what when where how why how but libra season either last year or incoming this is going to become something that's unavoidable okay that's that's what i've got okay but serenity to the divine a fiery climax approaches is here okay like they're saying it's time i don't, I don't know or this will be time i don't know what's going on but the zebra I keep wanting to call it a zebra cake. So some of you really do like that snack. We've got this Uranus um, energy, which is a shock. So it could have been a shock, is a shock, something, okay? All right. Tell me my pile number three, my zebra donut cake, whatever it is. I don't know. <laughs> Tell me about um, what are the dreams and the synchronicities and the numbers telling my pile number three, please. That's the um, heal, personality. This is receptive energy. Be receptive. Um, me, um, I do have owl readings on my channel if you're called to any of them. Let me get one more. Tell me about my pile number three, please. My zebra donut. What are the dreams and synchronicities telling my zebra donut? What do they need to know? What? Okay. All right. House nine, spiritual growth. So it talks about expansion, learning, evolving. Um, talks about stepping out of your comfort zone. That That is what that rules because um, whereas house three would rule cultures that are familiar to you house nine rules like other cultures so doing things that make you uncomfortable right you have aquarius uh, which i mentioned that uranus energy earlier of shock surprises um things that are different things that are unexpected right you have originality philanthropy progressive imaginings um you are being called to broaden your perspective broaden your horizons um, go out more and be social. This is outside energy. If if that's not something you do, stepping out of your comfort zone with the North Node, right? Because this is outside energy. Um, Aquarius is collective spaces. House nine is 
other cultures. So it's it, it's broadening and expanding versus staying inside, okay? Um, let me pull what's going on here. I'm grabbing this upside down. What else do we need to tell my pile number three? What do we need to tell my number three? My zebra donut. What are the dream synchronicities numbers telling my pile number? Just flipped over. Is there anything else? Wait a minute. Look at this. This must have come from the other deck. It did. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it down. So if you came from a different pile, that's fine. But I was just trying to see. Um, this one is calling me. Is it one? It is one. Why is it so thick? Okay, I'm going to just that there because we want it but i was trying to see if there's anything else so, okay so let's see what this is <laughs> called soul gifts and training it's time to step up so you are being called to do something you are called to pursue passions um and when i because that's why all of the love and everything stuff there right your passion so people that want children that would be a passion whether it's prioritizing them people that want a partner romantically that is a passion so any creative endeavor can fall here i just i got explicitly told that as well so but called you're being called listen oh you're being called you gotta listen mm. it's rarely good when you um it's rarely good when you ignore calls i'm not gonna lie um you're being called so listen Okay, so one thing your your dreams are telling you to like step into your north node, which is here, like be who you're supposed to be, do the things you're supposed to do, like really step into your power, give it your all when it comes to your passions and who you're meant to be in this life, like where you know that, like be like be that completely, fully, as much as you can, like listen to the call, like be who you're supposed to be for real, like the time is now, but also like <clears throat> you're being called to do something. Okay, you're being called to do something specific. Hopefully this loud, really loud card tells us. Okay, what is that? Lost lands, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. So yeah, I mean, we're talking about soul gifts two times. Every card does not say this at all. So soul gifts, right? Soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. So whatever gifts, talents you are naturally born, use them to take you where you're supposed to go do it like you need to be full-fledged with whatever gifts talents you have that's what the dreams are saying do it now whatever you whatever you can do whatever like do it now um it's time to step up and you've done it before if you believe in past lives even if you don't um god put you here with everything you need to do to do it okay you've got it okay when we talk about love um because it's here this is Pisces energy of like gifts, spiritual gifts, things that are hidden from you, things that you're not realizing, acknowledging a call you're not listening to um, could be a past life connection coming in soon or maybe past, recent past. I mentioned timelines. All right. Um, look, I, can't, I keep grabbing it incorrectly. Lifting the veil, questioning everything. Anything unaligned must go. Oh, yes, yeah, the ship. So I actually have, look at me plugging my nine lovery. I have a lifting the veil reading on my channel. It's probably one of those karma readings. So yeah, just um check it out. I think I put it in the, the I think I put it. And I don't know why I did that. Probably, like, I felt intuitively called to. I think I put it in the playlist with the flower readings. That's the secret in my art. It's completely unrelated, but the thumbnail matches. But in me knowing that, I also put it in there with the skeleton key readings. Okay? So, lifting the veil, questioning everything, every, anything unaligned must go. I don't know. You're, you're being called to move on something. Okay? You're being called to lift the veil somewhere. Okay? You're called back to some sort of a lost lands. And, and lost lands doesn't have to be a physical place. It could be a mental perspective. It could be a spiritual awareness. Like, like it feels like being called back to yourself. Actually, this pile feels like a pile of spiritual ascension, of spiritual awakening, like of remembering who you are at your essence, right? Like who you incarnated here to be, whether we're talking about reincarnation or just coming, like God putting you in, okay? 
And y'all gotta work out whatever you're afraid to say. Because every single pile has had that energy and it's giving me the throat thing. It's bothering me. I hate it. <laughs> it's giving me a throat thing. And I, and I don't, like, there's no reason. I only get it when I'm, like, speaking um, in a certain way to certain people. So let me see. Tell me more about this pile number three. What are the dreams telling my pile number three? I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. We're relying on that pile four. I mean, we still have more cards here, so I don't know, but I expected these to be a lot deeper. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in the playlist with one of the other readings I did that uh, maybe like two years ago for the dreams, but I expected these to be a lot deeper. Spirit is like, nope, handle your business outside in the world. Your dreams are telling you to handle your business outside in the world. <laughs> not to um, anything crazy, anything super spiritual or anything like that. So beyond you guys' is healing. So let me see. Tell me more about this zebra donut, please. What are the dreams telling the zebra donut? Mm. Who or what is triggering you? Call back your power. Cut the cords. Soul retrieval. You need to be told things multiple times and that's okay. I'm not going to fuss at you, but just give me a sec. Something's mirroring. Something is mi Someone is mirroring. It could be a romantic partner for better or for worse. So like in a shadow sense, you're mirroring each other and bringing out the worst in each other, right? And that's why you're being called to cut back, call back your power, cut the cords. Um, some of you, this protection, this calling back of your power is that soul retrieval, that awakening. Like maybe someone awakened you, right? Who or what is triggering you? Because a trigger doesn't have to be bad. Sometimes you meet somebody and it triggers you in the best way, right? We talk about like soulmates and all of the things, okay? So someone um, is mirroring with you here okay but watch it when you're in a connection that's making you feel bad that's bringing out the worst in you right because you got to ask yourself how is it triggering you is it making you want to be better or is it making you want to be worse if it's making you be worse then that's not good okay if it's making you want to be better then that's inspiring that's something you should pursue okay so that's that's where we are okay so we talk about aligning your life Stop needing to be told things multiple times. Ooh, longing for home. Homesick for the star. Oh, this, yes, this is, mm, you followed me from pile two, didn't you? Mm, yes, you did. Because lifting the, these are two decks. These are related, but they're two different decks. Um, so questioning anything, questioning everything, anything unaligned must go. What is no longer in alignment with who you truly are? It's time to clean house. It is time to clean house for those of you where we talk about, um, people around you relationships and all the things where is it um look, i can't even <laughs> i love it i'm not gonna i hate it and love it at the same time i don't remember what was where you may be in confusion okay you're in confusion a little bit um because i lost where what was where because i mixed up the two decks but okay so lifting the veil anything questioning everything cleaning house Longing for home. I'm looking for the home message. There was a home message. I don't know where it is. It's fine. But um, longing for home. Got it. But I mentioned the relationships, right? So here we are with um, those karmic relationships. Polarity, soul growth, conflict. Again, all relationships, all soulmates are karmic. People just call the bad ones karmic because they don't like the word karma. <laughs> but like, could be good karmic, right? So some of you are being pushed towards something good. Some of you are being pushed out of something that's triggering the worst way, okay? All right. Um, it is what it is here. So let me... Tell me... I have two more decks and we're going to close it out. I mean, I don't, I don't know what it is. We're going to see. Um... What else do we need to tell pile number three, my zebra donut? Some of you are um not tired, you're dehydrated, okay? I got like an out of breath, fatigue feeling, and then my mouth got really parched just now. For no reason, by the way, because I like before this pile, I was literally drinking stuff. <laughs> so we're good. But like I got out of breath, I got tired and then I got fatigued. So you're not tired. You're a little dehydrated, possibly. Divine timing, something. about. Uh, listen, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, but they're telling you to listen. 
it's time to step up. You got be like something about I don't know something about time. I don't know divine timing. I don't know what that what that means for you. I'm gonna pull one more. We'll take the bottom because I don't like ominous. Okay, all of these cards want to speak. Maybe we'll let it ride because I'm confused. So this is related to divine timing. We'll, we'll, let's just see. Let's just see a new day. It's a new day. Um, that energy is here. Talks about being called and lifting the veil. So it's a new day. Past, present, and incoming energy. I don't know why it's like this. It's a woo woo reading. Perception. Okay, divine timing is a is a matter of perception. If you're waiting for the right time for something, um, like don't try to like overly control things. Sometimes what like the intu the intuition. Because some of you are like, I gotta wait for the right time. I don't know what regarding it could be what I talked about, but if there's something you're like, I gotta wait for the right moment, the right moment, the right time, divine timing is a perception. That's what you're being told. Divine timing is a perception. I don't know why. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But I'm going to take this whole stack because it's going to talk about your north node as well as this new romantic cycle where we talk about either letting something go and eventually making your way to something new eventually. Or if we're talking about like starting something new where you're unattached. I don't know. But you've got a maturing energy of anger. You've got a maturing energy of unlimited possibilities and a maturing energy of duality. So I don't know what you're angry about or what you've been angry about. Something you're angry about. I don't know. Anger, unlimited possibilities and duality. I have no idea what this means. This is this has got to be something that means something personally, because I, I I give I a blank. It's gonna mean something different for all of you, um, but you have a retreat. Okay. So there's a retreat. So anger, unlimited possibilities, duality, retreat, divine timing is a perception, new day, past, present, and future. I don't know. I'm going to pull from this deck and then I'm going to pull from that other one just to see if I can kind of stabilize this. But because it, it got really chaotic towards the end. And it's probably that, oh, you don't listen energy stepping in. I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> I'm not going to lie. Tell me more about this pile number three. Tell me about this zebra donut. Please let me ground this energy. Okay, you know what they just said? Oh, okay. This, that pile. There's so much messages. Okay. You're trying to do too much at one time, they say. They say too much at one time. Um, start over here. I hope this isn't a super long pile, but I I do want to clear up this. I'm going to take one. I'm going to take one, but I was told to pick this up and to start over. Okay. What's the one that we need? Slow and steady is here. Some of you are trying to move a little too quickly. Integration is here. You're seeing repeating threes. You picked pile three. Slow and steady. Integration. Okay. Some of you, um, hmm, some of you are taking too long to integrate into something. Or you're taking too long to cut something off, okay? You're going to have to trust your intuition here when we talk about it, okay? Because um, some of you are trying to move too quickly in one area. And we always talk about it as a polarity. But you just have to figure out where you fall, okay? If all of the moving too slow, delaying, avoiding matches, you know you're moving too slow. Um, if you feel yourself rushing something that you don't feel you should be rushing, then there you go. I don't, I'm not one of those readers that's like, I'm the know-all, end-all, be-all, come to me because I want you to rely on me. I want you to be able to trust what's going on with you as well, okay? Grounding, ground your energy, stabilize, okay? Financial security is a thing here. 
So that's a thing. Grounding and, and financial security is a thing. And this is going to be related to um, slow but steady, but the romantic connections, safe travel. So travel safely, ground your energy, move efficiently, effectively, protection, right? Um, you are protected. So protection here, call back your energy when where it's bad and you know you shouldn't, right? Call back your power. Okay. I'm going to pull from that other deck, but you stop needing to be told things multiple times. You are protected, um, but pull back your energy from anything that's draining. That's bad, okay? Let me see. All right. You got power here. You have a lot of power. Tell me more about my power number three. What is this um, zebra donut? What do we need to know? What what what? Give me some advice. For, <laughs> this file needs advice. It's all over the place at the end. Make a wish. Okay. Well, make a wish. And then we have abundance and. Mm. I told y'all I can't control the cards. We talk about grounding your energy and financial stability. I do see abundance with companionship. I don't know why, but I'm seeing more abundance with companionship. <clears throat> Talking too much, apparently. But make a wish. That's your advice. Um, be abundant. Seek companionship. Okay? So I'm just going to leave it here and step out of the energy because it was easy going and then it got all chaotic. So I think you should be able to decipher out of here. There was a lot of messages that was very specific to each person. So like take it how it was for you. But I'm going to close it out. So that is all I have for you today, pile number three. Hopefully it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay in a note on the content we post here on this channel. Thank you for watching. All right, pile number four. So um, if by chance any of you carried over, I'm not going to let this take over this pile. Um, I already can feel a distinct difference in the two energies. Um, pile three, that shadow side. Um, I'm going to probably make a note about it. Um, just because it, like, if, you, if you're coming from that shadow side, the really draining side of that pile, just go lay down. Don't worry about this pile yet. Just leave it here. It will be here when you come back to it. I'm not laughing. I'm so serious. Um, after I finished that reading, the lighting is a little different now because, um, I had to go like, take a break. Like I had to eat. I had to drink something. I started to feel like I needed a nap and like, I'm like, oh no, it was that draining, that exhausting. So I was like, oh no, I don't have time for a nap. <laughs> I was like, I don't have time for a nap and this is not my energy. So I just got some coffee, sat down, grounded, and now I'm back. Especially those of you that may be coming from that pile that may have a tendency to like be under the influence or self-medicate in any way, like take it easy. Okay. That's a clear message. I'll try to make a note. Um, don't worry if you are not called to that pile at all, or don't be afraid to go back to that pile if you were called to it. Cause there's two sides. There's a really draining side. And then there's a side that's like being pushed to do something good. This pile, um, and I don't know what it was about those odd numbers. Something about the odd numbers were a little, had a little more weight to them. But pile four already feels great. Like I stepped in, as soon as I tapped in and grounded that energy and then stepped into this um, energy, I was like, oh, okay, something good's going to happen. So one of the things your dreams are trying to tell you just out the gate, pile four, something's good's going to happen. So again, if you're coming from that previous pile, Regardless of what side, something good gonna ha something good is gonna happen. But I really do encourage that shadow side where like the clearing of a cycle and that draining energy, like the draining energy has to go before anything, before anything else. All right, but great energy for this red velvet donut with the cheesecake sprinkles. <laughs> I'm getting told that for this pile, you can be whatever you want to be. It is whatever it is because I'm like. 80% certain that that's not a red velvet donut. A red velvet donut. It's just 
red icing with sprinkles, but I'm being told it is red velvet today. It is cheesecake sprinkles today. So, um, no, cream cheese sprinkles today. You may have caught piles in a reading that I may do in the next two weeks or so because I do have cheesecake coming. Okay, I have cheesecake coming. So if that's you, be on standby. We have it coming, okay? So let's see what your dreams are trying to tell you. Any angel numbers, synchronicities, and all of the things. So for those of you that are new, I read past, present, and incoming energy. And I do read from a polarity, which means there's a light and a shadow. You just have to find yourself in the lesson, in the journey. So let's get to this great news that I feel like is coming for this you know, red velvet donut. I don't know why this pile specifically, um, something is ignited. Something has already been ignited. Got it. I don't know why I grabbed this deck first. Ooh, you another one of those piles that want to be different. Look at you. Hmm. I guess let's just, just roll with it. Let's just roll with it. We're going to roll with it. Um, cause this is not, I was not supposed to grab this deck by the way. This is my first stack. This is at the top of the other stack. Okay. So something about this pile and being different. And honestly, if you're coming from any of the piles where there's a lot of work or a lot of draining energy, it would make sense that you would be totally different stepping into this because situations change you. Circumstances change you. So let me see what's going on. What are the dreams trying to tell my pile number four? It makes sense that if you're coming from a shadow of three and you're or shadow of anything, and you're coming into this uh, red velvet donut, that um, you're like a whole nother person by the time you're here. So let me see. What are the dreams telling the red velvet donut? That's probably why I was told to leave it, to tell you guys to leave it alone if um, you're coming from shadows. Yep. Incoming energy of Leo spirit the hero look at you incoming energy of the hero so and this is all about personality it's joy it's pleasure expression like it's a great energy it's very loud very solar very powerful very exciting energy so that's what your dreams are trying to tell you that that is coming in because it's an incoming energy so i don't know how i'm going to structure the table because this is my different pile and you threw me off so we've got um mm, so both maturing, both reverse. Some of you have already achieved what you're looking, like whatever goal you, you think. Like it's already kind of done, set in stone. Like you don't need to do anything else. Um, some of you need to stop prioritizing getting ahead. It could be both. Um, and when I say you've already achieved, I don't necessarily mean like you've already like reached a goal. Some of you, this is like a prediction of you're going to reach whatever goal that's not like don't overdo it don't over accentuate this because this is um career social status reputation like don't over prioritize this energy begin to prioritize more of this leo personality joy pleasure fun energy these two in combination talk about like popularity and a lot of attention so um your dreams may be preparing you for that they may be telling you to step out a little bit more so you can revel in that um, but I mean, it feels like this is coming in. Okay. So let me see what's going on. All right. Um, I guess I'll, I'll I'm going to go back to where I was supposed to start. You do have miracle at the bottom. Tell me what's going on with my pile number fours. I mean, if this is something great was going to happen, this is good energy. I'm not going to lie. Not prior, like, um, being able to prioritize joy, pleasure more over like work. That's, that's what, that's what I'm seeing. Like that's either what you're being told to do or what you're being put on notice regarding, or you're being told you're in the space now to do that. Okay. It could be a variety of ways that energy, that energy manifests for you. But I knew something great was coming in. Because as soon as I got um, into the pile, like I had like one of the things where you have the wise tail, where it's like, oh, that means something good's going to happen. Right when I tapped into your energy. So I love that for you, pile number four. What is pile four stream trying to tell them? What are the angel numbers, synchronicities? What, what are the things for my pile number four? My red velvet donut. 
Give me a card for my redundant donut, please. I'm not taking all of this energy, but we'll be nosy and glance at it. Fertility, cosmic flower, synergy, miracle, divine masculine, sacral. Well, I love that for you. It's a lot of power that just stepped in. But I only want one card. We're not going to. I love that the splash was a lot of excellence. Like it was a splash of excellence just now. Good for you. What are, what's the red velvet donuts dreams trying to tell them? Any angel numbers, synchronicities, and all of the things. Give us one clear message. There's so much going on that it's like hard to grab one. That's what I'm being told. I'll take it. Okay, Merkaba. Um, this supports our ability to use our consciousness to traverse into other layers of reality and dimensions. It activates our access to our Akashic inheritance. Okay. Ooh, you're going to unlock something. So your dreams are helping you unlock something. Okay. And when I say that, it's like hidden knowledge, hidden wealth, right? Like you're on, like, you know, when people talk about like the Akashic records, it's like, um, memories and like, uh, knowledge from like past lives and all of the things like that basically things that you can use to your advantage so like your dreams are trying to like put you on game to certain things um that could deeply benefit you in your life i love it i actually love that a lot that's crazy um sacral yeah when it comes to creating things right because sacral chakra is your creative center it supports our ability to flow with our desires and stimulates our creative power to manifest success and abundance in our lives that's what's going on like this is a pile of oh you got everything coming in that you've ever wanted i don't mean to be like dramatic about it um but for this group like your dreams are trying to teach you how to achieve your heart's desires, like everything that you want. It's teaching you how to step into your power. It's teaching you how to be efficient with your work. It's teaching you how to create the things that you want. It's basically this combination on my table feels like your dreams are trying to help you manifest. Like the information in your dreams, like the, the synchronicities you're seeing in the angel numbers, they're helping you on the path to manifesting that's this feels like a manifestation pile okay all right well let me let me pull from this tarot all right what are what are the dreams telling my red velvet donut it's like knowledge specific to you like it's hidden wealth specific to you it's like it's like the things that the things that your dreams and the hunches and everything you're getting are telling you, like the synchronicity, it's very, very specific to you. Like how you specifically can create, manifest the things you desire in this world. So like it may be a little hard to interpret because it's not things that make sense to other people, probably wouldn't make sense to other people at all because it's not, yeah, I got the two to confirmation. The knowledge being shared with you is very, very unique to you. So like even if you you have the dream or you get the intuitive punches, it's specific to you. I said it at 11 minutes and 11 seconds of your power. So I'm like, I'm telling you, like it wouldn't even work for other people. So like even if like whatever ideas, if you try to share it with other people, like they couldn't steal it if they wanted to, or they couldn't do what you do if they wanted to, because it's specific to your experience and your path. I like that. I like that a lot. And I don't know that I've gotten that message before. So something about this donut. This feels like a pile that's kind of unlocked a certain level of ascension where um, every, all of the knowledge you get now is like, it, when I say hidden knowledge or like hidden gems, it's it's kind of like, like, let's talk about it like in a, in a material sense, like school. So like you're in school, you're learning everything with everyone else. Well, you reach a certain level where you've, you've learned what everyone else, like you've learned all of the common sense things, you've learned all of the basics, and now it's time for personal mastery. And in order for personal individual mastery, you're going to have to do all of the things that are very unique and individual and, and specific, right, to you. So now you're at the point of your development, whatever area of life we're talking about, where 
all of the moves you make, all of the intuitive hunches you get, all of the messages you receive to ascend are going to have to be catered to you specifically because you're doing good. That's a, that's a you're doing great message. But if you're going to continue to grow and develop, now you're going to have to be a, do things a little bit differently because different from the norm, if that makes sense. Because I don't want to say you've outgrown it, but that's just, I don't know how else to describe the energy. These are four. I'll take them. The number four is definitely relevant for you. Um, yeah, Aquarius is standing out. That is the um, sign that rules what the energy I'm talking about, like the shocks, the surprises, the unique approach, the visionary, right? Innovation, right? Because this is a pile of innovative concepts, okay? Um, this is boundaries, the healer, dream. You got the dream card. So yeah, um, this is, I'm glad that I saw that because now I got the word. The whole theme of this red velvet donut is innovation. Everything about you going forward is all about innovation, okay? What is this? How did I? Okay, incoming. I got it. Incoming. Judgment. Okay, number 20 is the truth. Right? When you see the judgment card, it's about final decisions. Things that are final. Things that cannot be undone. And whatever level you've unlocked within you. And where you're trying to go cannot be undone. Like it's it's truly a message of this is what's going to happen. This is what who you are. This is who you will be. Okay, that that's the message, especially since it's followed by um, the hierophant. Like there's a certain wisdom. There's a certain truth that can't be unlearned. That can't be unknown. Okay, a path that has to be taken. Okay. I'm com I'm looking at those two. So that's kind of that's Pisces and Taurus energy, right? So we talk about assets, we talk about wealth, we talk about self-worth and being very grounded in your truth. That's what that's what your dreams are telling you. This is not a pile of your dreams are trying to redirect you in any way. Your dreams are trying to help you where you're already trying to go. Okay, this is a pile of your dreams are trying to build on what you already know. Like this isn't a pile of doing anything wrong. Okay, you have the eight of wands, accelerated motion, moving very, very quickly. And you have the seven of pentacles, patience and planning to a harvest, accelerated motion to a harvest. Okay, this patience and planning aspect of this card talks about everything you've already done, right? Because the seven of pentacles is when you harvest the crops, all of the planting of the seeds, all of the tending of the land that already happened. Like all of the work here for the most part has already been done. All of the seeds that you, you, you're being guided with, all of the intuitive hunches and the dreams, everything that you're downloading, I'll call it downloading now. One is to make sure you realize how quick that is happening quicker than you realize, but also spe specific little quirks, little nuances to you. And I keep emphasizing that because I don't know, I'm being told to emphasize that. It's a very unique energy. Yes, completion of a cycle, the world. This is the world card. It's called the universe in this deck, but it's the completion of a cycle. It's like a, this is, but these two combined are like final like it, it's like things are final, like you, you've reached like the final stage and it's one of harvest. Like that's what it talks about. And at this point, it's all about catering your experience specific to you because you already know how to be like, uh, like, I don't even know how to describe the energy. Like you already know how to be a, like, it's like, you already know how to be a decent person. You already know, um, like right from wrong you already know 
what you need to be doing on your path in the larger scheme. Now they're giving you details of how to make that more effective. I don't know another way to describe it. I don't even know if I'm describing it effectively, but this is a pile of, oh, you're on path. You're doing great. Your dreams are just reminding you of that. And they're giving you little gems along the way to make it better. I love that. That's probably why I was sending everybody away. Because I'm telling you, I got the thing where it's like, oh, something good's going to happen. And I'm like, wow, as soon as I step into that energy for this pile, I see that. You're, some I'm grabbing the second reverse, but like some of you are stepping out of healing. Yeah, okay. If you're picking this and this doesn't feel like you yet, this is incoming. That's why. Some people are here, right? Some people are already at the stage. Some people will step into this energy soon. That's why I'm... um. Filming this this time of day. It looks like sunset, not quite, if I'm being honest. It's earlier than it, than it looks, but it feels like the table feels warm, right? Feels really warm looking at it through the lens. So tell me more about my pile number four. I love this for you, especially those that I, those of you that... I mean, if you didn't have to leave if I sent you away. I just want you to prioritize that other energy, right? Because I don't care if you pick that pile after this one um it feels like that that energy was so heavy it almost took me down as the reader like I was almost done for the day <laughs> like if it would have been pile four I would have been I would have been laid down somewhere okay um so that that energy I wanted to prioritize the whole pile was not like that but if you're on that side you will know because you probably feel like that in real life for me to feel it as the reader but this pile right here it's an energy of like Blessings, harvest, things are coming to fruition. You got some hidden knowledge, some hidden gems being dropped. You may actually be interpreting it effectively. Like some of you in this pile, the dreams are telling you, you know what you're doing. You know what you're talking about. You're interpreting things effectively. I love this. Especially when we talk about final decisions, decisions that you're making. Because this is this is judgment decisions and this is um spiritual leader, but this is the hierophant which talks about studying. So this is um truth in studying, final level of studying, final level of development, and accelerating quickly to the rewards of that. Technically speaking, this could be a certain level of ascension and spirit, quickly grounding into the, the ground, right? Like with that material harvest. To close the cycle for the better and to begin a new level of ascension Ooh, look at this pile i don't know that i expected that yeah okay yes your, your dreams are saying to have faith in your dreams it's telling you you know what you're talking about have faith in your dreams you know what you're talking about be confident in yourself especially since um waxing crescent just the beginning towards the full moon okay just beginning to see the harvest so if you if you're in this group you're like oh yeah i'm already feeling it i know what's going on this is your present this is not even the half of it your dreams are actually making sure that you know that um some of you are coming and that's completely random okay so like right now so earlier i had music y'all don't have music because one of the piles was chaotic and threw off the music so <laughs> we, we turned it off so i have like my screensaver so now i see like an orange coral rose and I have one of those on my channel. You have sacral chakra, but I have an orange coral rose in my um, secret admirer readings. Go. That is your pile. I don't know why. I don't know how, but that's your pile. <clears throat> and I'm talking too much. I don't know how it's going to be relevant to any of this, but it is. So regardless of that rose, that orange copper rose that is yours, here... Whatever you're seeing results of, whatever you have the foresight to see, you're like, oh, I laid the found, I laid the foundation, I laid the groundwork, and I know where we're headed. I know how the cycle is going to close. It's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. Spirit is saying, yeah, have faith in that. But what you think you see is only a crescent of the full moon. Like this is just the beginning of what you actually have coming in. Like you're thinking you have a harvest, especially when we talk about quickly. We, we see a quick harvest. You're, you're getting something quickly. Just the beginning. Literally just a little bit of a crescent. Okay? 
of what is actually coming in. I love this energy for you. Look at you. I'm so grateful to, to do this reading because I'm not going to lie. Some of the piles, I was like, ooh, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have done that. I should have left this alone. I'm not going to lie. I should, I, there were some of the piles had me like, ooh, I should have left this alone. But this made me happy. And I said it at 22 minutes and 22 seconds. So yeah, but Cardinal Moon, be bold and make the first move. Moon, Cardinal energy is beginning of season. It is airy season, so we could be talking real time, but that could be the beginning of any season, spring, summer, fall, winter, okay? Any season, but I just want to make mention of that because that's when Cardinal's um, signs are. Um, maybe you came from the Cardinal readings, the bird readings I have. If not, that's fine, but um, be bold and make the first move. Have faith in your dreams. There's something that you are being told to act on or being encouraged to act on or being encouraged to continue on. Okay, I'm, I'm sliding this over to create space. Give me a second. Okay, people, you're being told to make the move on something. So let me let me see. I have all of my decks. Tell me more about my pile number four, my red velvet donut. What is that? Okay. We're not taking it, but Capricorn. Okay, whatever you've been working towards, right? Ambition, realism, methodical steps, especially when we talk about career, social status. Um, house three is um, communication, early childhood, childhood relations, the rational mind, whatever you've been thinking about, planning regarding career, um, any development regarding career. Um, we talk about localized community, like local travel here with cars. Um, we talk about, what is that? What is that? What is that? Um, yeah, I don't know. That was a specific message for somebody, but I was never taking it because that it just didn't feel like it was, it didn't feel like it. Oh, with that Jupiter. Um, some of you are actually, especially with personal identity, you're going to expand beyond if you're called to like, um, you're going to expand beyond your localized spaces. That's going to mean a, a variety of things for a variety of you. Like some of you, that just means you're going to travel a lot more. Um, some of you, that means you're going to, um, whatever you're working on, it's going to have an impact beyond that space. Um, some of you will be moving. Like it just, it just depends. Okay. But that's what that wanted me to know. So let me let me pull. What else? Um, on my red velvet donut strings, angel number synchronicities, all of the things trying to tell them. So I think it's funny because like I, I like I mentioned the music earlier, and like I have the screensaver on, and like it's rare that like I see a screensaver saver that like matters. So I just think it's funny that like right as I'm talking, I see that uh rose. We've got house twelve incoming energy of spirituality, transcendence, karma, sacrificial service, and healing. So healing is a theme, but this feels like a, a pile that has healed or is almost done healing. What I have here though is this incoming energy talks about uh, things, the unseen, right? Things that we can't see for better, for worse. And even in the worst sense, it's good because it talks about being able to identify those limitations, whether it's external or internal, and then flipping that around to our advantage. So that's coming in. That's what your dreams are telling you, like identifying weaknesses that you need to grow and develop and also helping you identify what I mentioned earlier, hidden gems, teaching you things or making you aware of things you weren't previously, right? Like this feels like an, an energy of spiritual concepts kind of finally like rooting in your mental space. Like, cause we can read or we can study or we can understand anything we want to, but it, sometimes when, you, even if you're studying something, it has to click. And some, like, this is my pile of like things you've been learning, studying, finally clicking and you being able to actually use it in a useful way. That's what I've got here. Okay. Mars energy here, cardinal moon energy here. You're going to be told to be very active on something. 
very, very active. I want to get one more shuffle because I want one more card. I don't know why, but I want one more from this from this specific deck. So take one more on the bottom. There we go. Be bold and make the first move is a big deal. Okay. Capricorn, ambition, realism, methodical steps. There's something you need to be ambitious towards. I don't know what that is. Mercury, think, learn, network, communicate. It is communication based. It's some it, with house twelve. It could be uh, something you've been avoiding communicating. That's been a theme today. Um, but Mercury talks about um, it rules the signs of um, Gemini and Virgo. Um, so third house, which came out, as well as the sixth house, which is like day to day routines. So um, what I like is ooh, what I really like knowledge advantages revealed to you that you you can truly what did we just talk about like being able to apply certain concepts like they finally click and you really understand what's going on that's these three right this is this is the unseen this is the mind and this is where you're productive and it benefits you in terms of career and social status okay that's what we have like hidden knowledge this this combination feels like hidden knowledge that helps you elevate love it look at you this is a great pile i didn't expect this pile to be so great like i knew it was going to be good but i didn't know it was going to be great okay so let me let me see give me more energy on um but yeah pay attention to your dreams so write things down really take your time when you wake up or take your time falling into sleep but just really sit with yourself because like your dreams you're really like processing you're downloading information that's very very valuable to you okay honestly some of you if you read a lot if you study a lot like it, anything you're studying or like researching or just learning a lot about or just like right like um or like for example this reading like the information i gave you guys in the readings because it's not just me i channel this these, these messages they're value valuable information if you do that a lot, whether it's like, and I don't mean like those love readings y'all obsess over. <laughs> I mean, like if you watch like any spiritual videos or um, useful tarot readings, or you read a lot like for self-improvement, ooh, all that stuff, like all of that is like downloading and becoming like second nature to you. Like anything that you do for self-improvement, you study for self-improvement is like downloading for you to like use on the physical plan like you're gonna see like physical results from that and when you're sleeping when you're dreaming that's like merging into your being i don't know how to describe it Ooh, i love this pile this is a powerful pile look at you i love that for you my pile number four that revolver donut Look at you unlocking a, like a whole nother level of like ascension. I did not expect this energy at all, by the way. I didn't. I did not expect it. Leap. You go first, the universe will catch you. Yeah. Anything you've been like studying, working actively towards, it's like your dreams are like, yep, go for it. We got you. When you put the energy there, we'll be supported. Right? Like jump. We'll make sure you fly. Like, that's what the energy says. That's what the dreams are telling you. Like, jump. We'll make sure you fly. Literally. Um, at the bottom of this deck, you have dance. Do something to shift your vibration. Like, that's what the dreams are doing. Like, you're, this is a very active power. It's saying, go, leap, fly. We got you. Move. I don't know what you need to do. Be bold to make the first move. There's definitely something specific you do need to act on. I don't know what that is. It's going to be different for all of you because it's so broad. Okay? It is so broad. Like if you come from other piles, maybe it'll be that specific. But whatever you jump on, whatever you leap, it's going to shift your vibration for the at the highest level. Or if you took a leap, it's it shifted you like it shifted you to the point where like you are flying and you even if you don't realize it, some of you are waiting for the crash. You're like, "Oh, it feels so good. Like I'm so scared. It's going to crash, but I'm telling you that's the opposite of what's going on because what where where is it did i put it down mm, i did there was an energy where i was talking about how um what was i talking about i mentioned um this crescent wait where's the crescent moon i'm covering everything up and i can't find it now 
did I cover? Yeah, I put. Yeah, I put. Look what I did. See, it, it's the. It's hilarious. So I'm glad my. But you see what I mean? They're not gonna let you cover something you need. Like you're not gonna mess up something you need. That's another thing. Your dreams are reassuring you. You're fine because I covered a valid point. I covered this valid point here. It's all coming to. Yeah, let's just let it ride. We're gonna take the bottom. Um. Because I was supposed to get two cards from that deck. They're not going to let you self-sabotage in any way. You don't have to be scared. Um, here, where I talked about, oh, you're like, oh, it's so good. This is the best it's going to be. I got the harvest. And I'm making sure you know, like, it's just the beginning with this crescent moon. That's what they're saying. They're like, don't worry about it. You're flying, waiting to fall. And they're like, hmm. You don't even realize you haven't even reached the peak of the, of, the, of, the, of the flight yet. Like, you haven't even reached the peak yet. Talking about falling. I love it. Look at this pile. Such a great energy. Um, they definitely did not want me covering up this have faith in your dreams because that's why my attention was called to it. That is why my attention was called to it. Let me um, move this. Create more space. Um, but yeah, leap. The universe will catch you. The universe will catch you. And then um, the great gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits soul tribe i mentioned intuitive hits you know what you're talking about trust your intuition okay and the people and resources you need all coming to you okay or have come to you right like it's all like everything's coming together okay it's finally coming together so let me pull from this deck I'm so glad for this energy. I love this pile and all of the things. So the only one thing I don't want you to miss is that there is a, an action you need to take, right? You go first, the universe will catch you. It's all coming together. Intuitive hit, soul tribe. Do something to shift your vibration. So like if you feel your energy dropping out of fear or whatever, there's something you need to do, but you, you have to do something, okay? There's something they want you to be very active towards. So, um... You do have fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposite extremes of life. Let me see. Give me more energy for my red velvet donut. What are the dreams? Intuitive hits. Uh, <laughs> angel number synchronicities telling my pile number four, please. There's a card that I was like seeing and like I was wondering if it was in the right deck. Um... You do have jump in, say yes to change and adventure. Okay, so if my attention's being called to this house 12 energy of hidden things, none of this matters, zoom out common ground. Something you need to put into perspective, something you're not seeing clearly. Um, I, I'm like, oh, you're seeing everything clear. There's something you're not acting on that you're not seeing clearly. That's what it is. Oh, I split the deck and I saw karmic relationships. Okay. So there is something regarding relationship you need to do. Okay. People are afraid of that word karmic. We do have here, but karmic, they use karmic when they, when they don't like it. So like if we're talking about a shadow at a relationship, like a relationship that brings out the worst in you, it, it's talking about that. But um, it could also be talking about um, connecting with soul tribe here. So give me, what does this deck need to say to my pile number four, my red velvet donut? Cracked opens. Rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. Mm. Deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal. Um... Things that are shifting, things that are, are transforming, let them. I'm going to pull one more, but I want to, there's a deep love here um, and cracked open. So cracked open talks about um, just letting things happen as they should, letting things fall as they should. Okay. Especially when we talk about the shadow side of this pile, where we're talking about hitting rock bottom, just let it. Okay. Um, and even if you're feeling that way, we're, we're talking about a deep love. And that being a portal of birth, so it talks about yeah. I got the knock of the two of confirmation talks about being rebirth, a re being reborn. Let me get another one. I want to put that back. 
I don't know why this deck is not wanting to be clear. There's something. Uh, you know what I'll ask? What is Pile 4 missing? There we go. Maybe this deck will tell us what is missing from my Pile number 4. Okay, there it is. You got the love. Okay. We talk about codependency. Some of you are dreaming of people. Some of you are dreaming of soul tribe. If you're having dreams about certain people and you have negative hunches in real life, trust that. If you're having dreams about specific people and you feel really good, trust that. Okay. But you got the love. I said, what are you missing? You've got the love is what you're missing. Okay. You're not alone. Isolation, physical connection, community. Mm, this, that power. Okay. So that's what you're missing. They're, they're telling you to be very active when it comes to, um, soul tribe and allowing karmic connections to close like those cycles to close when we talk about outdated connections romantic or platonic and allowing who's meant to come into your life to come into your life right because we talk about physical connection and community so we talk about new people physical connection gives vibes of like a little bit of romantic so maybe that could be i did think i think i did have a pile a while ago and one of the you know the last pile was a lot but there, i think there was an energy here for some of you that watch all of the piles i told y'all not be following me to every pile but here we are so it's coming through there's there's a message coming through like to be very active when we talk about connections got it okay so i have two more decks I'm laughing because that's the only thing that came out that you may be doing wrong because it's the one thing you're not seeing or not being active towards. Everything else is amazing. I love it. <sighs> Maybe that's why I'm sending you because I'm looking at that sacral chakra, that orange now, and I'm remembering that rose that randomly showed up on the screensaver. So like some of you, I mean, it is a secret admirer pile. So I don't know. Maybe that. Maybe that's the one thing. I don't know. You got psychic development, past, present, incoming. So you know what you're talking about. And I think this is the power of knowing what you're supposed to be doing. So, I mean, I'm not going to try to figure out what that message is for. You know what it's for. Tell me more. What are the dreams, synchronicities, and angel numbers telling me, telling my pile for? Letting go. Okay. Let go. Could also be surrendering when we talk about making the move let go of whatever stopping you from doing what you're supposed to be doing where you're not um and just kind of yeah i got the two confirmation I, I don't know if i've got this many suits in the reading but um letting go what, what needs to be let go because that that is coming out so i want to get one more i'll take the bottom and we'll close it out with that last deck tell me more okay all right teaching so we've got letting go in teaching okay so let go some of you you've you've learned all you can learn in the spaces or connections that you have honestly like like when we talk about like relationships like let go where you're not like growing anymore where it's just stagnant and ne negativity like if it's just stagnant and negativity it's it's time to let go because you you've learned the karmic lesson whether we're talking about romantic whether we're talking about family, whether we're talking about community, like if it's just negativity and there's no more growth, no more development, then you've, you've done, you've played your roles in one another's lives, if that makes sense, right? That, that's what's happening here. That's what the dreams are saying. That's the only thing that you need to do. So when we talk about making the move, you talk about letting go where it doesn't make any sense. It's just negativity and no growth. Um, and we talk about letting go and surrendering and being very active towards those new lessons, those new cycles, those new soul contracts. Got it. Some of you are out of breath. It comes through from time to time. I don't know. Some of you are a little out of breath because I did. I got a little winded. We got divine timing trust divine timing um and also with letting go and teaching it talks about one trusting divine timing where you may be rushing things but also um letting go and listening to what you're being told in, in regards to your role in divine timing 
That's why we got to be bold to make this first move. So sometimes, ooh, what I heard for this pile specifically, sometimes we want to control things and we want to do things in our time. We're like, okay, no, not this. This is not something I'm going to do this year, maybe next year. Like, oh, well, I'm not ready yet, blah, 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 blah. But God's timing is God's timing. Ooh, especially you real religious types. Like, it's like... You're trying to be God because what happens is when you when you're out of order when you're out of alignment because you're trying to control things you're throwing off stuff right so what I'm hearing is you you got some very active steps that say do things do things because you got to do something that raise your vibration be bold make the first move and if you're not doing what they're telling you to do you're throwing off the order of when things are supposed to happen. Which is why we live. Which is why we end up in rock bottom. That car came out er earlier in tower moments, right? Because a judgment has been made from the higher source. Like it, it's been decided, right? That's the only way you're gonna get on the shadow chaotic side is when you're out of order, when you're out of alignment of when you're being called to do something. You're supposed to do it then because it's not about you. It's about the divine order. That's what I got. I was so confused. I was like, what's going on? I don't know what's happening. That's the only shadow is needing to control things and not trusting the nudge when you get it. Okay. So any like struggle, chaos, regardless of each, any side of this power is just you trying to control where you shouldn't and just needing to let things flow. Okay. <clears throat> Incoming energy, balance the motions. Yeah, you're gonna feel really good. You got your, your dreams are teaching you, teaching you how to let go and how to balance your emotions, how to not try to control things, how to be open and receptive to what is supposed to happen when it's supposed to happen. Oh, I'm not gonna pull anymore. Okay, got it. Finding love. We're gonna close it out because it's already a little bit longer than I planned. But I mean, finding love. And that's self love, community love, soul tribe romance okay but they're teaching you how to balance your your ooh, balance your relationships how to balance your emotions and they're teaching you how to find love or how to nurture love in your connections that you have around you okay that's what i have so i'm gonna close it out that is all i have for you today pal number four let me see i was being nosy and when i split the deck i saw dreams and companionship and power okay well special special closeout message for you that is all i have for you today pile number four hopefully it resonated if it did please like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stand and know on the content we post here on this channel thank you for watching